Good morning, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to day number, what well, I think this is day number three, but it's an important day for two reasons. A, the mains are starting here at the Dirt Nitro Challenge, and today is a special day. You ask why is it a special day? It is, it's like a reunion. It's like the beginning of the end of the beginning, the, the rebirth. I don't know. The whole thing started in 2008, many, many years ago, when we were way younger, better looking, and I had hair. And now we are rejoined together for, we're trying to figure out how many years it's been. It is my honor, and I'm a little choked up, a little verklempt here, introducing the man who was my tag team partner when this all started many years ago. Ladies and gentlemen, stand, give a big round of applause to the one and only Charlie Swanker, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Woo! Thanks for having me out, guys. This is, uh, I was excited on the drive out. I actually like did 85 the whole way so I could get here and get in. So uh, thanks for having me, everybody. It's great to be back. The, the Charlie and Scotty Show makes a return to DNC 2024, 25 years of the dirt, and uh, they brought us back. They did. They, they, exactly. So I, I think we can we can officially say that the A team is back now. You know, I've worked my way back up from the, the C to the B to the A team. Now I... They bring you in, then I, it they makes me feel Ken special. Stout guy, and here we are. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ken Stout, 30 years on CBS, NBC. Yeah, it, it, nah, nah, forget that. Our first D main underway. This is Sportsman Electric Buggy off and rolling from the standing start. They worked their way through a warm up lap, and now they're out on the opener, right on schedule here at DNC, kicking off right at 8 o'clock. It's a beautiful thing. Early leader, probably going to be our pole seater. That was Phelan. Got a bit of a gap already early on. They're going single, single through the front side to get things warmed up. Charlie, Jimmy has been uh, on his game every day, starting like rolling him out at 7.59 for the warm-up. Boom, on a tone at 8 o'clock. So it's been uh, it's been great. And uh, I know you, you said you were driving in yesterday, but uh, the general consensus from everybody is this racetrack is one of the best layouts that Joey Aaron and his crew have ever put in. It's huge. It's huge. It looks like a dirt bike track. I thought I showed up and I was at the wrong track, and then they rolled the buggies out. I was like, okay, this is the one. Yeah, somebody's going to have their little uh, pit bike and, you know, do some laps out there. As we're rocking here down the line, failing, leading away. Oh, they're bringing them back. They had a little, they had a technology. Oh, uh, yeah. That, There's a technology burp going on, and they're re technology. Yeah, I was wondering, because we didn't have any, we didn't have any scoring here, so. I restart. guess restart. Yeah. Well, that's good because, you know, we want to know who's doing what. How many mains today? They said they're running up through, I think, 32. If I'm Something like that. We're, yeah. Yeah. It's a full day of racing. Letter rip tater chip. There you go. That's that's a good one. That's a good one. So let's uh, give our good mornings to everybody here. Uh, what's for breakfast? Charlie's got a big cup of coffee here. Or yeah. cup of noodles. We're uh, living. Oh the yeah, life we got here. cup we of got noodles. Yeah, we cup to, of noodles. In we the did booth. a cup of noodles thing here. You make the water with the coffee machine. You know that I I said to them a couple of days ago. Hey, go buy one of them cheap little water hot water right. kettles. And then Lucas had the brilliant idea. Hey, wait, wait Luke, a minute. We Lucas can just is a pretty smart borrow guy, one from the, despite his appearance. Borrow one from the hotel. And, you know, we'll bring it back and things like that. <laughs> but yeah. And then what did he do yesterday? Forgot it in the hotel. His <laughs> idea and he forgot it. That was a fail. That was one of those you got one job kind of thing. I think it's here. I see it. Huh? I it's here it's now, here. yes. So it went back yesterday. And, uh, yeah, exactly. So uh, Roddy checking in from Sweden. Uh, good afternoon to you. Kevin Mendez from RC Heaven. How are you? Mr. Kothman, good to have you with us. Yes, sir. Kothman, well, very good. You got that right. Well, yes. I used to call him Kothman. Yeah. And then I went to the Scotty Ernst production Cleveland race, and I found out that it's pronounced Kothman. Kothman, that's correct. He won Cleveland this year, not Jeff, but. Oh, yeah, it was, yeah, it was awesome. Then I mean, went, uh, Jeff, Jeff kind of won because he's the pit dad. Yeah, but. pit dad. Yeah, pit dads are important. Pit dad wins. Exactly. Uh, they went to uh, Germany to that's EOS right. with him. Oh, Ooh, that's a rough start. That was that was kind of bunched up, yeah. Oh, fumbling, <laughs> tumbling, stumbling off the front straight. I hate when that happens on the opening lap. That's the was the cheetah flip. Remember the cheetah flip? <laughs> yes. 
Oh Bit of my. a rough start here as they get spread out, but they'll figure it out. These guys are, uh, you know, sportsman professionals. Sportsman professionals, yes. All right, let's hope scoring timing works this time by. They got the delay Going double set. this time. They got the feel for it, a little more warmed up after two warm-up laps. That is a beautiful shot. It the is. Buggy's coming right at our face. It's beautiful. All right, these races are uh, 10 minutes. We got the clock ticking down, so that's a good sign. This is the other good look, shot there with the driver so standing. When I was standing on the side of the track, I'm looking at this place, and it looks huge to me. Like the the, the racing area is massive. So I was asking Jason from J Concepts, I said, "Is this bigger than the track in Thailand? Because Thailand until then was the biggest ACL off road so, yeah. track I had seen." And he says that Thailand may have been bigger than what this was, and I'm like, hmm. All right, I got Scott Sexton from the number three spot. How about this start from CJ from six to two? Andrew from ten to four. Got uh, we had sixteen, seventeen scheduled for this one. We got thirteen making a call. I think some guys uh, maybe are like you know, too way too Joe, early. Joe Schmitz, he's a he's a friend of mine on the Facebook. He's, Joe, he, awesome guy from Arizona. Loves and, to have uh, fun. Just got in a motorcycle. I don't think he made it. He's though. on vacation race, so he's probably still sleeping. Like he's <laughs> he, he wasn't racer. here for uh, right. for the qualifier, so I don't oh, know if Joe made it. Oh. He's only got one eye right now, so maybe he took it. Took it. Former Reedy Race champion yes. back in the day Way when he had a big fro. You ever see the picture of him? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Speaking of Reedy Race champion, I think you're a Reedy Race champion, aren't you? You know what? I'm not sure that 19-turn Reedy Race has the same oh, ring yeah. that it should from back in the day. But, yes, at the, at the time, I was working at Novak, and Novak had about a year under their belt of doing batteries. So I had my pick of the litter of the batteries, and uh, Tyree gave me a car to run, and it was a great race weekend. It was. One from second. legendary to me a track. EJ had the TQ jinx. What's that? He, EJ was yeah, the TQ. Right, EJ, he got yeah. jinxed. All right, we got C.J. Faust leading the way. Scott Sexton, Jake, followed by Andrew, Sean. Sean Ooh. Frey from 16 to 5th on lap 2. That's pretty good. Sean Faust, Sexton, Nimer, Fry, Lazoya, Heeb, Phelan, Frederick, what, Friedenrich? Friedenreich, Cordesaco, Ginsey, Hartshorn? Hart Shorn. There's a few names I've Lopez, been struggling Wallet, with. Lopez, Forge, huh. and then he, Forge looks maybe off the track at this stage. But Showing our leader is Faust on the ticker with Sexton a couple seconds off the back. Big bobble there. May have been our leader getting it wrong on that uphill section. Coming through our interlock, it's like two C's touching each other's tips. It's CJ, Scott, and Jake. Oh, Pat McCracken, brother of Phil, how you doing? Good to have you following along. This is our top four battle right here coming down the front stretch. Faust, Sex, Nimer, and Fry just fell off the back there. Couple bobbles by our leader, let him reel back in, and now trying to put his head down and pull away through that rhythm section, double, double, double. It's kind of a six-pack, almost a holiday five-pack, though. <laughs> you know, it could be oh. both. Looks like Nimer getting it way wrong. Coffee in hand on the turn, Marshall. That's commitment. Pick up our leader now as he gets to that front side double. Still got some pressure there as I believe that is Sexton now trying to close in on the back of Faust. They're in the interlock coming through that center up and down. You see the track? A little bit bumpy out there was the uh, words I was talking with some drivers last night, and they said there was kind of a bit of survival. They're out there floating around, just trying to not crash, trying to not crash and still hit some lines. And I guess Joey busted out the dozer this morning and was doing some anti-character to the start-finish area. He does do that every, yeah. every day before and after racing. Um, they, they like to do that to try to make the track the best they can, make it in the best condition. Uh, makes it for the average guy to have the most fun possible, and that's key. CJ leads this one. Scott is in second. Not that far back. Joey is, he's like one with his bobcat, though. Oh, yeah, he's I've absolutely I've seen some people operate machines bobcat. before, but, but that guy's like, he doesn't even use the controls. It's all mind meld. Like one of those guys on Avatar, the thing goes up his back, and then he's hooked in. <laughs> 
So Faust still showing as our leader. You see he's got a bit of gap now, stretching it out here in this Sportsman D Main, our first main of Saturday here at the Dirt Nitro Challenge in beautiful Paris, California. We're at the Paris Fairgrounds where they have more activities than you can shake a stick at. I think there's a go-kart track, there's a BMX track, there's a dirt bike track. They got a drag drag. There was uh, midget street, wrestling last street night. Street legal dragon. Yeah. Street legal drags. What else? There's horse stuff. Equestrian arenas all it's, over the everything's place. Everything's here. It's pretty cool. They got a lot going on. Lots of choices for food too. If you go into town, there's this place, nice like uh, mom and pop places to eat, as well as your favorite RC physique fast foods. A little bobble there. I think that was Faust, but with a huge lead, no big deal. He's able to right the ship here in the D main and maintain. A little bit of a bobble there coming down the hill, but able to hold on. Looking good over the big double. was watching the last round of qualifying last night and the sparks coming off the buggies as they go over the big jumps. Pretty cool. Pretty oh, yeah, cool. they're bottoming out. CJ out front, Scott, Jake, Andrew, and Sean. Race one of a whole lot today. Only 32. Only. 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 But they're long. They're like 15 minutes and stuff later. Yeah, the electrics are 10, and the uh, nitros are all the lowers, I think, are 15. Then they go to 20. They'll be watering between all of the 15-minute races is what I heard this morning. All from right, Mr. got Babcock. it. So Kevin McDaniel, good morning to you. That's right. Charlie and Scotty show is back. Hi, Kevin. Everybody checking in. Lots of people. We had an amazing turnout of viewers. Kevin, Charlie. your truck's still running strong, buddy. He, he donated me a, a 4x4 Losi short course to race at the Peacock Pit, and it's still running like a champ. It's still... <laughs> It's had you like broke four, it yet? It's had like four diff cases replaced already, but it's still running like a champ. CJ out front leading the way. Francisco checking in from Brazil. How are you? <laughs> I read it wrong. I thought he was saying he was from Kruki. Like, what is? Where is that? <laughs> Don't know. Maybe it's a new place we've never heard of. From Manteca. All the way from Manteca, California. That's not far from here, I don't think. CJ out front, leading the way. Got about a five-second lead, it looks like. We'll check it this time by. Only two minutes left. Oh, gosh. Uh-oh, rut row. Was Marshall was on it, though. We got a race now. I believe that was our leader. I want to say Sexton was in the similar-looking buggy with the yellow wheels and the yellow wing. Because yellow is faster. Disagree. Through the center section, taking it nice and safe. Oh, no, that's the first part. My bad. CJ, Scott, Sean, last time buys. We're down to a minute 30 to go. CJ seems to have the pace. Sexton just trying to take it easy and hope for some more of those mistakes as our leaders are together here. The gap was six at the line, but our leader was upside down at the Exit to pit lane for a moment, but stretched back out now. All right, they come across the line. Still a minute on our master clock as we, I believe, maybe we have picked up our leader. A little nose bonk there for good measure. I tell you what, this is a, a high contrast from watching the A Main Resort last night before well, we left. Yeah, when you, to when the you got yes, when in you rolled in, and, yeah, the top guys were up in in pro. <clears throat> yeah, I think I got here for the end of intermediate and the uh, beginning of pro. But Faust still trying to bring this one home. He's probably gonna make it by for one more lap. Working his way down the hill through that fresh start finish area. That's the area that Joey got all buttered up this morning. Fouls they were like still out front. eight minutes before the start, and he pulls up in his bobcat and just starts going to work. Joey? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, <laughs> I got this. Don't worry. Uh, right. Exactly. He has, he, as you say, he has won with 
Yeah, everybody's blessed with a talent in life, and uh, Joey is building dirt tracks. Have for you figured sure. out what yours is yet? Hmm? Have you figured out what yours is yet? No, I haven't. <laughs> I think the only talent I have would be being a greeter at Walmart. <laughs> Welcome to Walmart. <laughs> you take insults well, I've noticed. Yes. You got that going for you. Mm. Who's that, our leader? Rolling over here on his outlet. Brandon Rose is on it. He's doing them both. Literally on it like he tackled the car. <laughs> so they these guys. To, they were gonna... trying to get him to go over and wrestle last night. He's like, dude, those guys work out. I'm not messing with them. <laughs> They cross the line here, finishing their final. Sexton was right with him there. That CJ going to take the win. That's a tough one on Faust there. Lots of crashes in the closing stages to let Sexton stay close, but able to hold on with an outlap of 104. That's not fast. No. That not was, fast at all. That was not fast It doesn't matter if you win. You're right. It, it, you just got to win. doesn't I, matter how, oh, do these guys how pretty it up? is. I don't think they bump up. That does it for our D main here at the 2024 Dirt Nitro Challenge in Paris, California. They're shuffling through, going to get the next group out there. I do believe we get some nitro next. Maybe? Don't quote me. I'm intermediate electric buggy. Oh, D-Main. No, we just did. Oh, intermediate. That was intermediate. sportsman. Oh, we God, got sportsman, right. intermediate, sportsman, intermediate, pro, semi-pro, plus, pro, 30-plus, plus. Pro, uh, 35-plus, 30 40-plus, 45-plus, and 50-plus. Washed 50 up has-beens. And then uh, they're starting a I don't really want to race. I just came to hang out class. <laughs> yeah. And... Uh, that you can have a beer like in your, yeah, yeah. You have one of them beer hats, you we know, do. with the, the straws coming down. Every lap, one beer. That's, yeah, that's there the you class go. that I Finish would Finish a lap. Yeah, take a drink. I'd have to have root beer, though. We did that. I had a buddy who had a backyard track, and we did drinking. And we had a buddy that didn't drink. He's like, well, what do I do? So we got a baseball bat, and he had to do the spins around the baseball <laughs> bat every oh, lap Oh, he got instead. the worst end of the deal. <laughs> he was – well, and then I ran out of drinks, so I had to go to spinning, and that turned out all bad. Oh, so you were drinking and – Well, once you ran out. Not, the, these it, are non-alcoholic beverages just for our, our younger viewing yeah, audience. It was really burpy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Root beer. Sprecher root beer. Get a sugar high. Sprecher root beer, best root beer. They get their warm-up lap here in our intermediate bug. So technically speaking, last time they did 12 laps. These guys are going to do more than 12 laps, maybe. Maybe. And probably string together two to three laps without a crash. Maybe. 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 Kevin Math says, thanks for taking care of his vehicle. Anytime, sir. Glad to help. It's, it's living the good life, getting used. Brian Patterson, Hello. Richard Gallup checking in from the UK, cheering on Boots. Oh. Yeah, Boots laid it down proper. <laughs> Brian from Patterson. <laughs> Dude, that is a name from the past. I haven't talked to you in years. I worked at, him at Ultimate. Ultimate Hobbies, yeah, yeah nice back guy. in the day. N nicest guy that worked there. What was it? Cliff? Cliff was the son, right, Cl of Cliff Ultimate? Was Hank's Hank was son. Hank passed not too long ago. Did Hank, yeah. Hank pass away? I heard, yeah. And then Moto used to work there. <laughs> Moto for worked there. Ages. Moto was the reason that we started racing so heavily in Southern California because we went to the hobby shop and he's like, What do you guys want? And him and my dad just rang it up and it was, We got A scale, we got a Yokomo. We, we went ham. It was good times. He took us under his wing. We went and raced Nitro A scale with him a couple of times. My dad's like, All right, we're doing this. Bought, bought two new Mugen cars, a couple of engines. Little did we know, we had no clue on how to build and or tune right. scale. We go out there, no tire truer. My dad's like, why are we going to cut the tires down? It's a lot of runs. <laughs> Moto didn't care. He sold it. That's a that, grid. That's, 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 that, a, that's a grid. I, um, that guy's I'm, got reverse. Look at him backing up. I don't like it. I'm too close. I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a grid. You're right. That, that is a grid. Mr. Weibel, good morning, sir. Timison from Sweden. Hello. Oh, the, oh, 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 John Moore. That was a terrible start. Oh, terrible start. <laughs> Where was into the pit lane? Oh, I feel for these guys. Hmm. Maybe it's just too early. I, I, I this is bad. When mad you tried this hard and you were that good. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> you tried this hard and you were only that good. Oh man. <laughs> 
<laughs> he, he's rough on these guys this morning. I've been doing a lot of backyard track racing lately at my buddy's house, and there's two or three of us that can get around pretty good, and they've got a bunch of buddies that are just getting into it. And my, my one buddy heckles so bad. He's like, man, you guys spent all this money on these cars. You should try to suck less. We're like, oh, my God, bro. Wow. Take it easy. All right, here we go. Top four coming across the start finish line here. It's going to be Josh Keith leading the way, followed by Smiley. That's his name, Smiley. He Smiley must be very Hen. happy. That's a name I remember for several years in the racing community. And then the fourth place, we got Towers. Towers, just it, just Towers. Towers. Just, just a unique nickname, if it's his nickname or his last name, or that he just cares to go by Towers. People get named like Rainbow and Sunset. This guy's parents were from the city. We're calling him Towers. <laughs> <laughs> He's got jokes, ladies and gentlemen. Stretching out a little bit here for Keith as the battle for the two spot heats up between Hen and Clark. Together they go up and over that double little wing high, but brings it back down up on two through the back straight section. Climbs up the hill. Gets a bit of a gap now over that fresh start finish area. We pick up third spot Clark as he tries to reel him in. Up and over the roller. Big double to flat. We go through the double double section. Looking pretty clean there. That right-hander after the doubles is very sharp corner. It's it is. Unforgiving. Like, squares. Yes. It will reach out and grab you. With, with nails right in the corner, so it ain't moving. Smiley out front, leading away. Now towers to the third spot. Oh, big character check there. This double right here is one of the hardest, that one, because it's hard to get a good run-up to it. Uh, a lot of the, the guys in the Nitro division struggle trying to make that one. And here they come. It's deceiving. You think the finish line is under that bridge, but it's not. It's right before the pit lane. We got Smiley Hen to the point. Towers now to the two spot. That's the battle here with Towers and Clark through the doubles. Towers gets a pipe. Clark going to go to the inside and gap a couple seconds here. We stay with Towers as he comes through that center section to the roller. And then money that double. Turning down the hill. A little off-camber area. Big rut there. That they're trying to. There's a lot of track walking to go find out where the oh, big yeah. holes are. Everybody, every morning, everybody's, you know, taking a walk. They'll trying to figure out, out what it is. A couple races before theirs, and while they're doing turn marshaling positions, you'll see a lot of extra drivers out there, and then <laughs> a bunch of them just leave all of a sudden. Cross start finish line. Smiley Hen going strong here in the D main, but the pressure from Towers, not there yet, because this is the battle for the two. Maybe not. I think so. I want to say Clark was ahead of him, but... Big rut there coming down the hill. That's why a lot of them are going to that high side. It's a little safer. Oh, caught a rut there. Flipped them over. They should paint the ruts. Paint them. It'll be gone in a race. It'll, be a little, it'll waste a lot of paint. <laughs> Every But for the start of everyone, they got to go out and paint all the ruts. Yeah, exactly. All right, here they come. Cross star finish line. So that is Towers with the yellow wheels and the white body. Yep. He's in second right now, into the six-pack. Smiley's the yellow car way off screen ahead of him, I believe. He's got a huge lead. It's enormous. Into the pit. Oh. oh. Stuck the landing. It didn't. It looked like he just kind of flat landed a little too hard there. I'm not sure, but some of the ruts are a bit hard to see depending on the overcastedness of the day. Oddball, I agree. That, uh, that starting grid was, that was kind of. Kind of not so good. They terrible. got 190 by 130 racetrack here. They could uh, they could definitely spread them out and make it uh, a better start. Not a fan of that. I think we are on board now with our race leader, Smiley Hen in the yellow. Going double, 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 nice and smooth to that backside section. Going double roller as they do. Up and over. Clean to the uh, downside. We got an instant replay Speaking here of, of the starts. start. Yeah. Like the one guy just loops it right in front of the rest of the field. 
and it was just, yeah, it was not so not so good. Yeah, it's, it was better than that replay. Yeah. <laughs> We still got Han out front, leading away. Han looking strong. Has a, a sizable lead at sizable. the moment. As uh, you see there, the next car in line is a whole section and a corner behind him. Smiley's got the double, double, double area all to himself. Eight second lead up. he's got over Towers right now. So he's got uh, plenty of time. Just chill for four and a half-ish minutes left. And uh, this is the just battle. Kind of cruise around. Hanson and Clark right here, I think, were duking it out. But now it looks like maybe Clark took it from him. They said uh, Smiley is a painter. Paint by Smiley. He does awesome work. Oh, there you go. Says uh, D. Saw. Andrew Silvaggi's checking out. He says the dynamic duo is back. Nice. Wow. The who's Batman and Robin? Who's Batman? Who's Robin? I'm Batman. You're Batman. I'm definitely Batman. I'm Batman. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Smiley leading the way. Just saw a Thomas Tran sighting there, just standing in front of the scoring booth there. That's what he does. The low C team. There he is. See, they're, they're Thomas. No, that's not Thomas. That's, that's a that white might guy. Been that's Ivan a Marino. white guy. It looked. Uh, what <laughs> what's a say? white guy. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Tom's a skin little Vietnamese guy right then. I got him wrong. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, two minutes, 45 seconds left to go. Smiley still at the front of this one. No real pressure thus far. He's been keeping it smooth, minimizing the mistakes. He's been doing a very good job of avoiding some of the crevasses that are forming slowly. There are some. Smooth and easy here through the double. Downside, downside, downside. Oh, not really oh downside. wow. Was that, that was that was kind of pro right there. Oh, oh, oh. and I say that. <laughs> wing, wing high to nose flip, dude. Yeah. Not good. We were just saying nice things about you, Smiley. Get it together. Yeah. All right, into the pit. Ooh, right, the, into the, right into the hole. Risky business. 12-second lead for our leader right now. As the sun comes out from behind the clouds, and everything changes color. That topside hill looks a little tricky. Going up to a turn, I don't know, unloads the suspension, and there's a hole. Ah, good lap for him there, 48-0, one of his better laps. He had a 46-7 as his fast lap. Towers his second, Towers his fast lap as a 48-3. So Smiley leading this one, got hot lap, 12-second-ish. Lead, he's uh, on a Sunday or Sunday, Saturday. It's not Sunday yet, Scott. He's still Saturday. We still got two days. He's ago, already right? sick of me. He wants it to be over. <laughs> sick lids. Hello from Vegas. Wow, Kylie just said Batman or Robin? Question mark. More like Beavis and Bud. <laughs> All that. I'm okay with that. I, I, is that a compliment or? <laughs> 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 I haven't watched that. Closing Please. minute of this one. Hen's going to get by for probably two more, unless there's a catastrophe. He's playing it a little safe there, running up to the doubles. Came up just a touch short, but able to salvage. Up and over the backside double. A little nose high there. Just out there chugging along. Smiley started third on the grid. Bad luck in front of him, or maybe some mistakes pushed him to the front. He hasn't looked back since. He's got huge lead, 12, 15 seconds now, I think. 30 seconds to go. Like I said, he's going to get an extra, going to get another one. Towers last lap, 49-1. Oh, oh. Whoops. Getting it a little bit wrong there. Turns All towards right. the pipe instead of away from it. That's interesting. All right, he's starting his final lap here. Howard's going to try to sneak by in case catastrophe happens. Mm, Electric maybe, A scale, you never know. One. You can run out of runtime on these things. So, Ten minutes is pushing it on this big track. Looks like Tower's not going to make it by. Nope, going to get caught at the line. So Smiley can take as long as he wants. I hope not. Zeller started 13th, moving to the two spot, getting wow. by Towers here at the end. Holy moly. Yeah. But after that started back, you know. <laughs> he probably got like free fifth. You, you right made up eight start. spots 
<laughs> in the first ten feet, you made up eight spots for, you know, in the back. Some dude was out All there. All right, doing so Smiley donuts. gonna come around, take the W. Taking a cruise. Good run for him. Uh, Nicholas, no, we don't. They're running uh, up to race thirty-two today. I, I think I do know that. Dan, it is. Thanks for noticing, sir. And I heard they're going to take a break. I'm going to. Uh, they said there's an hour break after 32, and then they're doing a main warm ups or something. I. Yeah. He said I'm gonna it. Go, I'm going to go. He said it a bunch of Jimmy times because he was repeating himself so that you could. Because racers never pay attention. Like, what Correct. did he say? So Jimmy knows. Say it again. Right. Yeah. You, you have to. Exactly. But he said it like four different things two times in a row, and I was super confused after that. And I didn't know what was going on anymore. So my apologies for not knowing. TQ Chef checking in. Good morning. Happy Saturday. And fellow RC junkies, exactly. We are definitely junkies when it comes to RC. I love RC. During the week, I've been going RCing. We have a bunch of our buddies got slashes. Really? And we race like a kind of, not really spec slash, but we all have similar vehicles with similar power. Yeah, but you know, you've forgotten more about RC than these guys will <laughs> ever know. So I'm sure you're doing, you got lots of tricks up your sleeve that... You know, why is your truck so much faster? I thought these are you know, the stock engines. I, and, may, I make an effort to make mine slower because they always say that. Ah, really? Yeah. I, I actually try to make sure that I do not have the fastest or most horsepower. And then you still dominate. Or they say that. I'm like, we trade trucks. Like, give me your truck. I'll drive your truck. I'll beat you with your own truck. That's oh, yeah, a, that's for the sure. Best. Jerry Klingbile checking out. Uh, he says, nothing like putting a kitchen together and listening and watching this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, don't put a nail through your thumb there, buddy, watching, you know. Chores and RC. Yes. Jerry's like one of those jack-of-all-trades. He can, like, build anything and with his eyes closed. Jack-of-all-trade, master of none? No, no, this guy, he, <laughs> he can build. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, he can, uh, he can build. Oh, you know what I was thinking about? The last time you and I raced was Thailand. Is that time you and I raced together? Was it the TIT Thailand? I think the last Thailand? time we got to race each other was Thailand. 2005? Right. So we have to have a rematch at some stage. I would suggest let's get you an eight scale nitro on road. That's and, cheating. And I'll be happy. If to. I get your team of mechanics as well, <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> Scotty Scotty goes uh, eight scale on road racing often. And Not often, I, yeah. You know how much I'm often. on the road. He did a whole season last year. Oh yeah, racing just every I did weekend. nothing but RC race and. Uh, He's got Joel Magic Johnson helping him, Eric Fasutin helping him, the whole Infinity team helping him, <laughs> giving him all sorts of pointers on how to drive and what to do. We, it was the Sven race that we went to, and like you showed up to race. They gave you your whole own practice session the day before and made no – they didn't tell anybody. Where was this? At the, the backyard track at St. Sears. Oh yeah, with well, yeah. That's, Scotty shows up early and he's and like, "Oh I've guys, raced, I haven't, I I've haven't never <laughs> raced eight skill in my life." Yeah, he's you like, "I haven't run anything." The, they oh no, no, be fair to me. Be fair. Day. I've never raced eight skill <laughs> in my stage. life, never. And if you've never raced one of those, it's it's it's, it's a totally different, type different of driving, than yeah. how you nor yeah. race a normal car. There, you got a mash throttle. You got a crank. Oh on yeah, the you wheel. get in the steer by giving a throttle. It's like it's like a boat. It's got to be up on plane. Like there's oh, no yeah. going slow. You have to hammer. <laughs> uh, the first time I got to drive, I go down a straight. What do you think? You go to a straightaway and there's a turn at the end. You lift. You hit the brakes. Yeah, no, you lift. <laughs> you turn, and then once the wheels are turned, you rip the throttle because it's it. got a straight axle in the back and it just pitches the car around. Yeah. So I, I did. They, they look out of control. It but was, it turns out Scotty's kind of a wheel man. He's gotten such a reputation now that at the Worlds, they let him drive a car around during the practice session. <laughs> they did. gave him whose car? They gave you the most clapped out <laughs> engine, engine in the world. They're like, this <laughs> engine's about to blow up. Let's let Scotty run it and uh, see if he can the, kill this thing. Um, the I name gave name me too. guy from New Zealand. He was just awesome guy. And, yeah, it was like, Scotty, you want to drive a car? And I'm like, duh. <laughs> as soon as they started it, I'm like, that doesn't sound Oh, yeah, good. it was tinging. And it was not. It was not good. And everybody's there. Everybody's the whole, yeah, there. the whole track gathers round because the, the you <laughs> were calling the race for the venue, right? Like you're the track announcer. Oh, and it was, it was awesome. I was nervous because everybody was there watching and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I come down. I, I run the first tank out, and you could just hear it coming on the straight. And it sounds bad. And then uh, once they fill it up, I do another lap coming down the straight. Whoop! It yeah. just goes. 
It was like, ooh, Scotty broke his engine. I'm like, well. All right, so we're in pro. Jade and T.U. here starting on pole. I give props to Jane because he has stepped up now and running in pro, and that is awesome. This looks like a pro race. These guys all together on the start is a good start. There is only six of them. Move to the inside there by Olsen. That was a nice pass through that chicane there. Jayden oh, I love this shot. Yet. That that beautiful. Jaden trying to make that time back up. Doesn't look like he's got it yet. Wish every race started like this. This is a good one. Top four, nose to tail here. Ten minutes is like a sprint race for electric or for a scale though. These guys, a lot of them run nitro and electric, so they're very accustomed to these longer style races. Oh. I give props to Ivan Moreno Jr. also. He's won here at the DNC before, and it's good to see these young kids stepping up now and not staying in the lower classes and moving up and running to the pro division. Lead battle here through the interlock section. Through the roller they go, top side. Have you ever wanted to uh, watch replays of these races? I do, and I am... So I have signed up for the bonus lap member. I bet it because I'm going to go and watch. My granddaughter is racing right now right. out at Thunder Alley I, out in I, uh, East Coast. I've been a bonus lap member for well, – I'm grandfathered in, I think. So you, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a little biased, obviously. But I use it all the time because, like, my buddies will tell me about something. Like, dude, you got to go check out this race. You can scroll back and watch the whole thing. If you like RC, you're going to love <laughs> bonus laps because hey. you get – it is kind of an all-access pass, and you to, to go back and see the history of things and pick the race and not have to scroll through the live stream is, you know, yeah, I'm, a, I'm a lazy, lazy guy. So yeah, I but, I mean, time. Time's the one thing you can't get back in life. So if you can save true some story, time for, true story. you know, it's five, what is it? I think it's $5 a month, and uh, if you're I, into racing. I've and, wasted a lot more on a lot less. Uh, yes, <laughs> I've spent $30 on a bag of blue screws that have stripped out the first time you take them off. So, yes. Man, this I've, battle, though, at the front. Look at Moreno now into the mix. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Check that. The battle's up ahead of these guys. This is LaRoe, Olsen, and Vigil. Dylan Nelson. All right, Moreno. Oh, Brandon. all sorts of wrong Ooh. there. I think that was LaRoe. That's going to allow... Moreno a bit of gap. Maybe. Oh, and he got loose right in front of him. Oh, oh he's, he's he waiting. was waiting, though. Guy. Oh, he can't hear me clapping, but he, he yeah, that, feels that his throttle inputs cause that. Probably the guy that hit him is like, go, just go. It's fine. It's the D-Main. <laughs> Do they bump up in this? I, in the electric, I don't know. Well, what good are you? I, I am no good. Useless. I have no use. You're you've been here for four days, seven days, and you don't know anything yet? I don't know. Thank God. Because not everything was covered in the driver's meeting. <laughs> Josh Glancy. Hello. Hi, Josh. Oh, yeah, TQ. It's going to have lots of character, especially now with uh, the heads-up racing, all the cars going for the same piece of real estate on the lander all bunched together. Things are going to run up a lot more today. Uh, they're going to stay on it with the watering program, things like that. But it's going to be an interesting day, and everybody knows. Track builds character here at the DNC. I love the jump cam. Nelson out front. Ivan Moreno. Again, props to Ivan. And uh, Jaden stepping up, running uh, pro. He's that reeling him in. See. There's a little bit of a bobble there by Nelson. Moreno closing the gap now as they work to the doubles. Nelson Backside out front section. leading away. Oof. Man, you, you think you're making up some ground, and all of a sudden your car just doesn't do what you're telling it to. Through the interlock section goes Nelson. Moreno just a corner back. Berm shot there off the pile. Oh, bobble there by Nelson. Going to allow Moreno to make up some oh-so-valuable track space, but can he hold on to it? And as you get closer, you think you're going to go for it. Forget about a hole that you drove around five laps before. Oh, good lines here coming across our finish line there for Nelson Moreno right there. Six tenths of a second Still right a, behind. Woo, still a lot of time left in this one. Five minutes. Nice line by both through the six pack to the left side. Double leg go. Going around the rut. Halfway there. Over to double down into the pit. Get Ooh, I think I, I have a little better line there on the lander. Into the center chicane. 
All taking that wide line, try to get a roll. Ivan catching a rut. That's because it wasn't painted. They're looking. They're looking for the smooth spots, and they're finding none. Man, and these. This is just the third race of the morning. This, yeah. this is just going to get better or worse. Oh no, all better. <clears throat> They'll fix it, right? Don't they think they go out there and like fix it? And get a shovel into the six pack. Double, double, double. Very nice. Be like uh, Saxton a couple years ago. There's a big section that was just running up or whatever. And be, I, I kid you not, they're getting ready for the man. Everybody's out there. He goes and grabs a shovel <laughs> in front of God and everybody and just starts working on a track. Oh, my God. We were all in awe, like, like this, this isn't happening. He, he's like, I can fix it before they can stop exactly. me. Yeah, oh, yeah, right, exactly. Right. And he got four or five shovels. Stop me. All right. they, yeah, he got four or five shovels in before they stopped him. But we, it was like one of those things. This isn't happening. If you're the king, you do what yeah, you want. The king, exactly. The king uh, it was, yeah, we joke about it now, but ooh, there was a little tension in the air at that <laughs> moment. All right, Nelson and Moreno still going at it. Cody King. What's yeah, up, Cody, Cody king? been hanging out. Wing high. Exactly. We were, said, hmm? we were talking about Thailand. We were talking about, oh, you know what we need to bet. Oh, yeah, I know what we need oh, to bring back. Oh, yeah. Jeez. No. Oh, yeah. It's <laughs> so bad. Oh, no. It's so awesome. <laughs> Scotty's scheduling up a terrible thing to share no, with all of us is, again. Oh, I got something because some of you folks are new. Oh, yeah. During that one-hour break, whenever it is, oh, we got we to play that. Oh, that's that. right. There's plenty of things to Oh, fill. yeah. We, got, we, got, we need to fill. We Scotty will tell you guys about the first so. time I raced on road, I'm sure, with my TTO2, <laughs> the, the decal story. He loves that one. <laughs> the, the what? The, the, the stickers on the... the oh, yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, Nelson out front. Ivan Moreno is in second. It looks like this battle is not cooling off. Moreno not going away. Nope. Oh, ooh, he ooh, tried to wide ooh, line ooh, going ooh. just a bit outside. That was our leader, Nelson. That's going to give it to Moreno. Moreno going to try to put his head down and build on this gap. Leader was just doing his thing. Got a little too close to one of the larger holes. New leader now, Moreno. Moreno coming up. Oh, just getting away with that double there. Looks like he came up just a touch short. Through the double-double area they go. Up and over the top side. A little safe on the downside. Nicely done. Found a clean spot inside of the holes in that corner. That right-hander's got some pretty big ruts just above it. Money's the downside for both of them. 145 left to go. Probably four more laps. I hear the sound of nitros in yeah, the background. Rop, rop, rop. Flashlight classes are almost over. We're yeah, going to move on to lantern classes. Oh, no. Upside down. Ah, Nelson. Good marshalling, though. Nelson big, had big the break. lead for a long time. Was pushing just a little too hard right there. Found one of the wrong ruts. There's good ruts and there's bad ruts. All right, Moreno now with a 5.6 second lead. But one blink by Ivan, and that's going to be gone. Yeah, it doesn't take much. There's some spots that are kind of far from the marshals and maybe can't be seen as well. And you could lose six, seven seconds in a hurry. Brandon, last lap, 45-8 to a 49-5 from Nelson. 5.6 is the gap. What's the hot lap? Hot lap right now is a 45 Point seven. In Check general. that. Olsen, 45.5. In general, though, like overall. Uh, it's 40, 41, 42. Oh, wow. In electric, it changes so much as the track, you know, ruts up and right. gets better and or worse, depending how you're looking at it. Ivan out front leading away. Dylan, Dave, Brendan, Jacob, and Jaden. Sean, I don't think made the made the start of this one. He's got no laps. Looks like Moreno maybe has this one in pocket now. Five second lead, been doing nice smooth laps these last five minutes of the run. Found his way around all of the craters. It's a and race to the finish line here. It's just got to keep the rubber to the dirt. The He's going to take it. Winner. Bam. Winner. Ivan. 
taking a win from the four spot. Now the toughest thing for a race director to do, find volunteer marshals at a big outdoor event. It's easier at an indoor event because you can look at the pits yeah, and just eyeball. Right, right. And a little word of advice as a, a somewhat experienced race director. If the race director asks for volunteers and you don't want to do it, do not. I repeat, do not look at the race director and make <laughs> eye contact. Because I'm not speaking for all race directors, but at least in me, if you make eye contact with me when, we're, when I'm asking for volunteer marshals, right. you're in. You're done. Yes, exactly. But you should always volunteer because it's all about the good karma. If you think that you you're, started that years ago, you might have a bad race weekend, or maybe you're having a bad race weekend. Go do some volunteer turn marching. Yes. If your luck doesn't turn right then and there that weekend, the next week, it will come in double. Exactly. Karma coins at the track are a real thing. They are Lend a real a hand, thing. Lend a hand. You know, you see trash at the track, just throw it in the trash can. Not right. a big deal. Do it. Stuff like that helps a lot. Ben Humphrey, uh, hopefully soon. I went to trackside for the INS race a couple weeks back. Man, hey, Ben, that place how you doing? Is awesome. They have a bar downstairs now. You so got to have a secret knock. Oh, it's n- not officially. It's not. I mean, it's it's not a bar. No, it's not no. a bar. No, it's just a room. They had an air hockey table down there for a while. Mm-hmm. We had foosball for a while mm-hmm. down there. Everything kind of. Then it's the kids. Uh, right. Kids got their video game room get, down there. Yeah, get, all the kids go down there and play like. They were, they were playing Tony Hawk Pro Skater. I'm like, why don't you guys play like a race car game or something? <laughs> you none of you skate. It's clear. Right. Was it the 1992 version <laughs> of it? Yeah, I don't. I think it was <laughs> on it was ColecoVision. <laughs> I hope you're doing well, Ben. You know who always volunteers when I'm over in Europe doing races? Who? Me, Kalorlowski. Yeah, I call for yeah. volunteers. Mm-hmm. Well, bam. There's a handful of the pros that will jump up and volunteer occasionally or always yeah. if you need the help. Because some of those dudes, like, their program is pretty tight. Like, they don't need to do a lot, and they're sure. just sitting there doing nothing. So, so they go out there with their sponsor logos. The announcer says their names. Ryan Lutz, same way. Yeah. Ryan Lutz. He was out there for race one this morning. Yeah, yeah. a lot of them were. Yep. They didn't have people. They were out there. So th- I we were hanging out last night. I go to a lot of events, and some of them are rock crawl events where we're camping. This is like, like an axial fest for racing. Kind of, yeah. All the people hanging all the campers out. And yeah. Everybody's got a little bonfire going. They right. got the uh, Blue Mountain, some of them. And they made me a lasagna last night over in the techno tent. That was really? awesome. Lasagna and garlic bread. Wow. They made it on the smoker. It was awesome. Oh, Scott Hecker was over there. Was he? Was yeah. he the cook? Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. yeah. He's throwing down there on the Traeger there. Yeah. There was, there's barbecues everywhere. That's kind of the only th- probably thing that's different. Because the camping, you're like all together. These guys are kind of dispersed a little bit. I, uh, I did an a interview with, with Mayfield, and he said exactly the same thing. That I asked him, he's, he's the king of DNC, 17 yeah. wins. I said, why, why do you think you do so well? He says, because he attacks, goes to this race with a different mindset. Right. He says he has his stuff absolutely prepared before he gets here. Everything's ready to go. He's got a game plan and everything. They camp here. They hang out here. They socialize. They see his friends. So he says it's a totally different vibe and everything here, and he attests that to his good success here because everything is, you know, everything's like that. When you camp's here, family can come here. They, they camp, bonfire, the it's whole like, thing. It's like you're on vacation and you get to race your cars yes, on a exactly. really cool track. We got some last-minute repairs going down on... Looks like a loose shock, perhaps. Oh, yeah. They're they're mad thrashing. Oh, yeah. Shock change? Oh, you got it. Whatever it was. Just in time. Don't forget to put the gas in it. <laughs> All our right. So this is our first full grid nitro start. How do you think it's going to go? Um... D main of Sportsman Nitro Truck, probably terrible. <laughs> we got to think positive. No, it'll be awesome. These guys are going to prove me wrong. Racers love to prove me wrong. So They're calling for the fuel. All right. This guy's just taking his time. 
sometimes not rushing is the move. Oh, quick buzzer there. Down a quiet beep. Not bad. Oh, oh bad. somebody going into two lanes over. He mostly took himself out, though. And oh, fumbling. No, oh, no. Out, stuck Marshall. in the doubles. You I, go, you're going to be last. Yeah, you're gonna be last. I mean, sorry. there was bravery attempted yeah. there, but he bailed out at the last minute like, I'm sorry, bro. I yeah, ain't right. no, I ain't taking no. one of the kneecap. Well, he'd take out another car on the way to getting himself taken out. And Cody King, any idea what time the B mains? Honestly, we are right now at this particular moment the most clueless announcers ever because we don't know the official schedule. I'm going to try in between races to run up uh, and talk quick to Jimmy to find out exactly what the B mains today. We're all the way to the A mains because today is um, electric buggy and nitro trucks. Oh, so all the way to the A's, oh. and then tomorrow, electric trucks and nitro buggies. Ah, I see. Kind of mix it up like that. I'm so confused. That's easy. So there will be a main. We'll have uh, champions crowned tonight. We will. In truck and electric buggy. Trucks, because there's sportsmen's intermediates, pro sportsmen's, pro intermediates. 40 plus, 50 Oh, that's plus. right. 55 plus. Just here for fun. <laughs> yeah. Pavitas made his return. Mark Pavitas. Pavitas is here. Mark Pavitas. His kid's fast now, too. Oh, yeah. Ryan's been racing for a minute. Mike Trury's racing? I, he's not just racing. Oh, not just racing. Laying yeah, it down he's, proper. He's giving it to him in 40-plus. Oh, yeah, exactly. I went over to ask because I hadn't. I drove all day yesterday. I didn't get to follow along with what was going on. And uh, I go, so how are you doing? He's like, you're supposed to be media. You should know I'm kicking everybody. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> With Mayfield's backup practice car. Yeah, makes sense. Truri, Truri, if you didn't know Mike Truri, if that name doesn't ring a bell to you, back in the day, he was uh, he was one of the men. He was he would be in the conversation with you know all these guys with Dakota and Mayfield and everything. He was uh, he was one of the top guys. Two thousand eight Worlds. Yeah, he was the man. Mm. Yep, TQ'd and yep, we figured he was a favorite going in. And Dude, then this little Japanese guy just came out of nowhere. We didn't even think he – we were, like, super impressed he made the main. And then it was, like, I don't know, five minutes to go? Uh, no, it was about 30-minute mark. It, we, the, the pit stop started the, – the one less pit stop started, you know, With noticing it, showing yeah. its head because then, you know, Hara wasn't even in conversation. And then 30-ish minutes or whatever, and boom, oh, what's Hara doing? And then we kind of got it figured out. And then we started watching uh, his pit man, you see – uh, Masayuki Mura, just the smoothest pit stops ever, just like butter. I think we have picked up Connors and Morales here. I want to say Connors just got by Morales a couple corners back. Yellow truck with the white wheels. Two white wheels at the front of this one. <laughs> Yellow are faster. Yellow's gross. Morales, Connors. Oh! I think on this cycle through... Connors may be our new leader. We're about to find out. I heard a beep. Nope, it's still Morales. <laughs> and just like that, spot. look who's in the chat room. Hara-san. Oh, what's up, Hara? What's up, English? <laughs> Good to have you here, buddy. We're always talking about you, Hara. Absolutely. We got two world champions in the chat room, him and Cody Kang. Sick action. Evolution. We had Davide Angaro yesterday. We had three world champs wow. in the chat room yesterday. It was awesome. You got it. Does it count if they have multiple champs? Like they're, and you have how many time champions in the chat? Yeah, I, 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 I wasn't counting them. Once a world champ, always a world champ. I never announce Just as former. I never announce as former world champ. Oh, because you're not a former world champ. Once you earn a world championship designation, yeah, you you just set the year, huh? You just get the year that you. Were well, yeah, the, exactly. Uh, you're 2008 world champ. You're exactly. Yeah. But never former world champ. I, I, I don't. Mm -mm. I can only dream to be it's, world champion in anything. It's like being know. a president. They call you Mr. President. The exactly. Rest of your life. Exactly. <laughs> we call Hara Mr. World Champ, or Harasan one too. Either way, 
See, Har started his own line. He's got his new RC. I did. Oh, yeah. I helped him with the English. Ah, very yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. I need to get some stickers, Har. <laughs> Andrew says if you say Har's name three times, he appears. <laughs> he what? <laughs> Andrew says if you say Har's name three times, he'll appear. Har, Har, Har. Har, hey, for the Philippines, bring me some stickers, please, if you would. I would really appreciate that. I'll start rocking some Hara stickers on my cars. Yeah. You know, get a little good vibe, get that world championship right. Harasan vibe. It'll absolutely, it has to make me faster. It just has to. Stickers definitely make you faster. All right, Morales out front leading the way, and he's got a good lead. Right now on Scott Sexton. Jeff Connors in the three. Travis Aspin in the four. And the guy only goes by one name, Dooley. That's all he needs, one name. <laughs> Morales out front, followed by Sexton. Connors Aspen Dooley. Downtown John Brown up to the six. He had a tough start. I think he might have been that one that fumbled off the uh, front oh. stride. Oh, cartwheel. Upside down. I believe this is Aspen or Dooley that we dropped back to. Our leader across the start finish line. We're watching here three, four, five, and six. Having a real hard time here. That's, that's not a happy truck from the looks of things. It's not getting up on plane. All right, we're watching four spot here across the line. A lot of guys coming in making their pit stops. Aspen, Aspen now going to go to right. the three spot. Yeah. Aspen doing doubles. Now to that backside. Up and over the smooth roller. Gets a little bit of air. Smooth there to that outside line to avoid the little pothole. You see all the little moves the truck's making there. That's a little bumpy through that section. A lot of, lot of suspension movements. All right, halfway. We're five minutes to go. I'm sorry, 12 minutes, so five minutes to go. 12-minute race. I was talking to Mayfield last night, and he says uh, he liked everything, but his truck had, or his buggy had way too much power. He's getting like 12 minute run times because he's just babying the thing around the track. I'm like, oh my god! Wow, dude. that's interesting like, to hear from Mayfield. He's running the like the lowest tune he's had on the thing as far as power goes ever, and it just keeps ripping. Wow, <laughs> interesting. Normally, you don't see Mayfield in a uh, right run time, you know, to his no, advantage not. kind of thing. People, because. If you didn't know, I work at Hobby Wing. I'm employed there. I try not to work if you, I can help. You're right. Yeah. He's, uh, Charlie is uh, Mr. Hobby Wing. <laughs> but I saw world. Cole Tollard out there, and he's a Hobby Wing driver. He's, hey, you, can you put a tune on my engine for me? I'm like, yeah, sure, buddy. We'll turn up the frequencies. <laughs> what he needs, that'll solve it. More power, right? Totally. Yeah. Yes. Smoother, smoother, more power. The, the trick is your power needs to be smooth and powerful. <laughs> and your Morales out front. Comfortably, Jeff Connor second. Travis, John Brown now back to the three. That was Brown we were with into the pits as we pick up Sexton and Aspen there. Aspen in the white and red. Sexton just ahead of him. Side by side through the doubles. That's not going to work. Aspen gets pushed way to the high side. This is fourth and fifth spot. Working their way through that near side big double. Oh, Aspen getting it wrong. Truck doesn't seem to have a lot of forward bite. He's come up short a couple times. Oh, we got a busted one in the middle. That's no fun. Oof. Sexton coming up a little short. Aspen able to close the gap just a bit. Oh. Sexton with a big bobble at the top of the hill. And that's nice going to allow though. Aspen to move up a spot. Aspen, Sexton going out of here for P3. Andrew Morales out front, comfortable cushion here as we are two and a half minutes left to go in this 12-minute final for our Sportsman Nitro truck. No to tail that go one more time through the center. You see everybody kind of running that high line there. They jump to the outside over the big double to find the smooth spot out here. As I say that, the rest of them don't.
Aspen to the high side, comes up a little short, but so does Sexton. Looks like Brown trying to make his presence felt there. Third truck in line just off our shot. Trying to put some pressure here on the back of Sexton. Still got two minutes left to go. All pit stops have been completed. Morales out front still with a comfortable lead over Connors. Connors got about uh, probably three seconds right now. Um, about two seconds over Aspen, or Aspen rather, over Sexton. Ooh, big check up there for Sexton. Gets on the brakes. That allows Brown to close right up on the back door. I guess the wing. There's no door on the back of an A scale. Morales, Connors, Aspen, Sexton, Brown, the running order as we pick up Sexton, the dark with the yellow wheels. Runs the high side there, gets a nice run at that big double. Oh, and we see him getting all sorts of wrong there and right behind oh, him. Oh, man, Marshall. Marshall doing what, work out there. McDermott was just a couple seconds back, so. Oh, no. <laughs> all falling apart here in the closing stages. Maybe ran out of tire? I doubt it. Into the pit. The battle here, the four and the five. Uh, Jonathan Wolf, the pro uh, nitro truck main, will round out today's slash tonight's festivities. What time that will be, we're clueless. It'll Certainly. be sometime later. today. Later today. Yeah, it's definitely going to happen today. Well, maybe sometime. not definitely, but probably. Probably. Most likely. Sometime after 12 o'clock noon. High priority or high probability of truck racing mains. We are winded down here. The finished tone has sounded. It's going to be a race to the finish line. Andrew pretty handily winning this one here in our sportsman truck. D main, D for dynamite. D for Connors dynamite. I wish I battling here with Aspen. This the battle here through the chicane. Connors and Aspen going to race this one of the line here for second. Bump-ups are important. Every spot, oh, getting hung up on the pipe. It's top three transfer. Yeah. As they come down the line. That's how it's going to wrap up. Morales, Connor, Aspen, Brown, and Sexton. Top three transfer. Morales from 12th on the grid to take that that's one a, home. That's, that's good. That's moving on up. So they take uh, top three to the next one. They'll be joining us for the Nitro Truck Sportsman C main. Unless they get some sort of problem in post-race tech. They do post-race tech to each of the mains to make sure. What do they make sure? Gas tanks the right size? Something like that. Something, yeah. Make sure it makes weight and it's the right width. There's all sorts of rules for RC car racing. He's got two names. His name's Dooley Dooley. Two Dooleys. <laughs> Just like Duran Duran. Exactly. Today will be the electric buggy finals and all of the nitro truck finals. And then tomorrow is electric truck and nitro buggy finals. Exactly. I, I you got it down. I learned that not too long ago. Like you've been here all week. They're hosing the track. Throwing a little water down. I like when the announcer says, gentlemen, grab your hose. And then they go out there and they water the track. All right. Well, uh, while we're taking uh, a little water break here, we're going to uh, do a little pause here and uh, throw a little commercial. So Charlie and I will be right back. 
This Thursday night on Speed Sport 1, it's the 2023 RC Racing at Visions off-road event from Jay, Oklahoma. The best RC racers in the world come together to showcase their talents for $30,000. These cards are not toys, and the competitors are not playing around. Check it out this Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. Go to SpeedSport1.com, download the app, or simply watch it on Sling Free Stream. This is Speed Sport 1, the live racing network. Little promo there. What's going to be going down next week? March 21st. Broadcast of the Visions RC race. And that is uh, always a thrilling race. We've uh, been part of the last couple years. And it's uh, pretty exciting. So looking forward to watching that. Full production. You know what's so awesome about live RC and everything, having a chat room. You get world champions in there. You guys can ask one of the greatest champions in our world here, Asushi Hara. You can ask him questions. It's it's so cool. Got Cody King hanging out. We got 2008 world champ, 2010 world champ. And it's ironic that these two guys are in our chat room. They had one of the best world championship battles ever. Cody and Hara in Thailand, 2010. It was an epic battle. Just one for the ages. Ah, oh, Cody, careful what you're saying. Har is making a return to racing like a madman. He ran TITC. He's going to the Philippines here in a couple of weeks, racing some eight scale. Um, oh yeah, Har is back. David Cruz, how are you? Food in the lane. Yep, Jay, Oklahoma. That's where we, uh, we hold the Visions race. All right, warm-up's underway here for Intermediate Nitro Truck Race 5. This is a 12-minute final. We had Davide Angaro was uh, online yesterday. So we've had, we had three world champs. Sean Griffin checking in. How are you? David Cruz, I am doing fantastic, outstanding, phenomenal. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Here on LiveRC.com, coverage of the 25th Running Dirt Nitro Challenge presented by 1UP Racing. And a Live RC bonus lap membership. Something really cool if you're big into racing, you got families that race, you want to look into that bonus lap membership, you can go to LiveRC.com, learn all about it. Gives you a chance to... Uh, Watch previous races if your local track is watching it. And I use it all the time because my granddaughter and all my family's racing right now out in Thunder Alley, out at World of RC. Oh, well, we got a flame out here. Somebody running. Oh, man. Pretty good start. Not so bad there. Deanna Eichelberger starting on pole. She's leading them here into the six pack. Nice double, double, double. Deanna out front. Perfect start for her. Into the pit. A little bit slippery down there. Sliding around. Deanna leading the way. Jeremy second. Oscar Ross, how they rolled out. It's a 12-minute final. They come around complete lap number one. Deanna doing what she needs to do, starting on pole. Maintain the lead there at the first lap.
Deanna, Jeremy, Ryan, Ross, Richard, Mike, Travis, Duke, Chase, Felipe, Oscar, and Allen is the order. Deanna out front, Jeremy, Ryan, and Ross. Richard Smith, a great start from 10 to the 5. Top three drivers bump up. Intermediate Nitro Truck, D-Main. Deanna out front, leading away. Deanna leading away. All right, Deanna leading the way, Jeremy. Oddball, they normally have somebody that starts the, the races, um, you know, like a, a flag person, cars down and stuff like that. Remember they, the ninja? Uh, from the Neo Buggy? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Neo Buggy, the ninja that showed up on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Full ninja outfit. The start ninja. I went and got a fresh coffee. You went and got a fresh coffee? Yeah. Uh, espresso? My coffee was really bad, so I just poured one of them Starbucks things in it. Now it's much better. All right, we got Deanna, Jeremy, Richard, Ross, and Ryan. Expect the uh, pit stops seven and a half minutes. We go 12. Is our lead battle here on the backside? It is. It must be. Zachary, it's definitely a race you want to put on your bucket list. It's, uh, it's an endurance for sure. It's a long race. It's uh, in many ways can be frustrating, but more ways it's just fun because you get to watch the best drivers in the world. There's what maybe one or two not here of current. There was top midget rib. wrestling last night. What's that? There was midget wrestling last there night. There was midget wrestling. There was midget wrestling last We're night. We're here at the fair park. The, yeah, there's a tour that was. It's in the process of going down the state of California. They were just up by my area, actually. Same group. Oh, no, big bobble there by our leader at the top side. Marshalls converge, fumbling. Hara's like, Fernando Gardinho is 50 already? Man, time flies. <laughs> Fernando? You remember Fernando. You can't, know Everybody Fernando. knows Fernando if you're back in a day. I used to travel race with Fernando in my Novak days. Yes. He was one of the guys that did a lot of the promotions. Deanna, Jeremy, Richard, and Ryan. Dude, did I find a box of Novak stuff <laughs> in my RC stuff? I bet. Still sealed in the box. Jim Dan Eichelberg out sir. front. Good to see you. Cross the start finish line right now. Ryan and Jeremy battling for that final transfer spot. As they go into the six pack. Oh, a little caddy wampus there. Are you guys going to do INS at RC1 next week? Somebody asked. No. No? 
<laughs> the, they, yeah, they normally don't do that. They don't do that one. No. And Deanna Richard. Deanna right now about a five-second lead. Second is Richard Smith, followed by Ryan, Jeremy, Chase, and Ross. Thought you were busting out a switch there with that little. It is a switch case, yeah. Deanna out front. All right, here's the pit stops. A great shot here. Uh, old school truggy body. That should be worth a bonus lap. I love me some pit stops. Coming right for us. Oh, yeah. That was a smooth, steady, no rush pit stop. See people trying to, like, a lot, of, lot of movements and, and nothing happens. Oh. Four and a half minutes to go. I feel like he could have waited a little more than that. He's self-penalizing. It's fine. Jimmy was saying, go, go, go. Must be his buddy. He wants him to beat that guy. <laughs> Oh, it's Anthill and Nybacher battling for a transfer. That's why. Top three. Get the bump. So that is Nybacher when the red and yellow with Anthill just behind. Best colors for a paint job. Scotty is a big fan of red and yellow for some reason. Deanna out front, Richard and Ryan. Top three, get the bump. Uh, oddball photos checking out. I think uh, you're in Sweden, right, or Finland? I agree with you here. I'm just saying everything we do here in America is not always the best. The starts are kind of questionable sometimes. So What? I'm just saying. America best. <laughs> America number one. <laughs> What are you even talking about? No, he was just commenting like, there's no grid. It's like, it's been a mess. There's no, like, grid start, you know, person. And then the guy threw his, threw, didn't put it in the grid, threw it onto the straight right. way, you know. <laughs> there's been a bunch of that. The down and quiet's pretty interesting. Yeah, he exactly. It out so, um, I, I, I'm with you 100%. I, I understand. Don't judge us, though. At least we drive big, huge trucks by ourselves for no reason. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Dude, Charlie, I said this the other day. How, how do you live in California? The prices here are staggering. Ramen noodles. You must live on <laughs> cup of... That's it. I, the, the tax... I mean, everything. I was just... It's a small price to pay for no winter. No. Uh-uh. No way. I haven't had to shovel snow in 15 years, my friend. <laughs> That, so that's worth the thousands and thousands. Totally of, worth it. Uh, no, thank you. Deanna, Ryan, Chase up front. Deanna, dare I say, dominating this final. When I first moved to California, we were lived in Orange County, and it was when El Nino was mm -hmm. in town. Like, this is terrible, dude. It's just raining. Like, it rained for like a whole year in <laughs> Southern California that year. And then four years went by, and the weather didn't change at all. It was sunny and 70 every day every in Orange day. County. And I'm like, Dude, it's been four years? <laughs> what is going on? Then the rain's come again. Deanna, Ryan, Richard, your top three. Chase Antill right behind him, followed by Jeremy Travis. Looks like Nybacher now up to the two spot. That's going to be Smith behind him. Big contact just back there. Oh, that was a perfect double there. Downsided, didn't slide it. Beautiful. It's quite a bit of elevation here at the Paris Raceway. You stand in the pit lane, you can barely see the top of the track. Dan oh. out front, minute 10 to go. Oh, all the way off, off. the track. That's Nybacher going to drop him down to fourth, I think, and he'll just got by. Saunders, Saunders now, now to the third spot. Saunders coming out of nowhere. Travis up two spots into the transfer. So is this a battle, Travis 
Ryan and Jeremy through the six pack. 50 seconds to go. They got a lap and a half basically left to go. Who wants to bump up? Tough break there for Niebacher. Had this one for several laps and a couple bobbles here at the end at just the wrong time as Saunders is getting it together. Saunders there over the roller, up over the double. Coming through with 15 seconds, going to make it by. The real question is Niebacher going to make it by as well. 10 seconds, Niebacher's across the line, so Saunders has to keep this one together. A little miscue there through the doubles. Got it wrong at the entrance, got it wrong in the middle. Now finds himself behind Niebacher. Niebacher now to the third spot. They are out on final lap. Saunders. They're racing to the line here for this one. The bump up's on the line. Oh, big bobble there as they approach the roller. Up and down through the berm shot area. Saunders pushing hard now. Niebacher got the bit between his teeth and trying to run with it. Oh, man, these guys. Oof. Oh, that's the tough double Dicey. right there. Stretching for it. Maybe going to hold on to it. Two more corners to go. This oh, is the battle. He puts it on the inside. Oh! oh. oh. Nybacher took it. Barely. Saunders moved to the inside, applied the pressure, had a wheel to the inside, but ran out of straightaway. Amazing race to the end there. Niebacher had that transfer spot. Saunders with two laps to go. Was able to move into position, get by him, made a bobble, and Niebacher got back by. One little bobble through the, the doubles there cost Saunders the, the transfer. So tough Man. break there. Excellent race there to a tenth of a second. Charlie, I had something happen last week in London. Never in my 30 years of doing this. Yeah. Uh, vintage AAA mains. One guy won the first one. Another guy won the second one. Came down to the third one. Final lap. They had a big tabletop, lander, and then a meter after that. Boom, was the finish line. Leader came, stuck the landing, went a little bit wide. The second place, who was the other winner of the aim in, cut to the inside. They hit the loop. Tied. Oh, really? To the thousands of a second. <laughs> Point one oh seven to both. <laughs> Never seen it. So that was the deciding main, too. Right. Because they both. Third and final, yeah. Unbelievable. So, yeah, obviously go back to who had the faster win. Sure. Other, but talking to him afterwards, the guy who finished second, had his transponder in the back ah. of his car. And that absolutely Did, was the difference. Didn't Blackstock lose a national with a rear transponder or something like that years I ago? There's another that. story like that. It was crazy. Uh, so, uh, Avis Tremescu was in the uh, in the chat room. What's up, Travis? He Hi, says Travis. he hasn't shoveled snow in 43 years. Yeah. He saw 45 years. <laughs> I don't mind shoveling snow. I don't, but I don't shovel it. I got a snow plow, a snow blower. I bet you do. Yeah, exactly. Your Come on. Your mother was a snow blower. See, and I was trying to find you, find you some pictures here. See, this is why snow is good. I dug a big tunnel here <laughs> up north for He's my got granddaughter this and I. Of his granddaughter in a snow tunnel. It's he, pretty cool. It's oh pretty yeah, cool. exactly. I want to send this to Eric and say this is the benefit of. Of having snow. I can drive to the snow if I want it. Like, it, we have <laughs> snow in California. We just don't live in it. Eric, are we putting pictures on Racing. The, uh, Hello, on the David show Cruz. Hello, John. Good to have you guys with us. Thanks for tuning in. SoCal Mitch. Somebody yeah, give that guy a hand. Okay. I didn't, what was that? I missed it. SoCal Mitch is here. I would oh, say give he's that here? guy a hand. No, like here. Right oh, in the, in the chat room. Yeah. He's in <laughs> Vegas now. Oh, well, good for him. So he's been like so. So Nevada, he uh, he Mitch. gets on some epic mountain bike rides, and he posts pictures. Yeah, that's why I always say give that guy a hand. They got it. Yeah. All right. So oh, we got Pro Nitro Truck. Only five in this one. Nelson Brown, Kirkman, Parente, and Vigil. Scheduled to start this one, and it looks like we do have five trucks on the track. They only get one warm-up lap because there's a billion races. That's it. Ain't got time for that. Yeah, ain't nobody got time for warm-up laps. Joseph Laponte, how are you? 
Good to have you following along in the chat. SoCal, good morning. Corey Stiff is here from Highland, Michigan. Yeah, Corey's on his 90-inch TV in the living room. Oh, They make huge TVs now. And they're... The one thing that's not crazy priced right now, TVs. Right. You can get an 85-inch TV for $400. They went overboard on manufacturing when the part shortage just came. Yeah, so now so. there's warehouses full of like TVs. Like RVs right now. You can get RVs for dirt cheap, mm. but they're crap. They were building them so quick. <laughs> yeah. They cut so many corners. Yeah. You can buy them cheap, but they are cheap. There's our down and quiet girl. I can't remember. I think that's Nick Watlett's girlfriend, but I can't remember her name. It's not Mrs. Watlett yet, but yet, we can, I we like can that roll you with said that. Yet. Maybe soon to be Mrs. Watlett. I don't know. I can't remember her name. I'm a failure. Good morning, Chris Conrad. Thanks for tuning in. We were look, it's RC race. We're definitely going to look at the starter girl, not the starter of the race. Good right. job. Oddball photo. There you go. We got we got a starter girl, a pretty starter girl now. So that's way better. Then Good we didn't start have anybody. Here. All five of them staying together. 15 minutes on the docket here. Pro Nitro Truck D main action here at the Dirt Nitro Challenge 2024 from beautiful Paris, California. Not to be confused with Paris, France. <laughs> when or I, uh, Paris, Georgia. I told my boss that uh, I was going to be at DNC this weekend in Paris. He's like, you're going to Paris this weekend? <laughs> I'm going to California when I'm driving. <laughs> Her name is Caitlin. Caitlin, there we go. Boom, thank you. The throbbing brain. The throbbing brain knows yeah. all. The super chat is the jam. You guys are so smart. Whoa, SoCal Mitch says, don't be short with him, Charlie. I know. I see. <laughs> that, we, we, that's one. I'd say give him a hand, and he says don't be short with yeah. him. It's hilarious. Oh, like side-by-side race in here, top three. Dylan, Tyre, and Daniel. Now, these guys trying to work together because they know they got a long race. They got the transfer. They're just trying to stay clean and not take each other out. All choosing very I different I thought that lines. guy was going to land right as soon as you said not take each other out. I thought he was going to T-bone him. And meanwhile, fourth and fifth staying in very close contact here, just a corner off. Did you hear the story about, uh, I think it was Mason Fuller. Was mm. that a race last week? Leading the Nitro main, and a dog runs onto the track, hits a dog, <laughs> rips the pipe off his car. Or his truck. I don't what know what it was. Stupid dog. Get your soup off the track. <laughs> dog was on a track. <laughs> of the list of things you're going to hit on RC right. track, dog Fox is not yeah. in the top ten. Well, I mean, you've seen those sports car motorcycle races where a deer runs out on yes. the track, right? I guess that's the RC version. Good battle here. Front three. Good morning, Francisco. Thanks for tuning in. It's top three battle. Back and forth a little bit, but starting to gap out now from Kirkman and Vigil. You see Kirkman and Vigil kind of stuck with each other back there, but they are falling back. Lots of racing still ahead. 15-minute final here. Still 12 and some change left to go. Fast lap almost identical. Fast 45 for Dylan, Tyler, and Daniel. As the sun starts to come out a little bit here this morning. On what is supposed to be a beautiful day today. Ooh, contact there. It's going to let him fall back just a little bit. Caught a pipe, then caught the bumper. Oh, shorts it. That's got to be nerve-wracking. You know you want to bump up. you got a long day ahead of you if you keep bumping up. But first... You gotta get your fifteen minutes done. Nelson Parente, Brown, Kirkman, Vigil, still our order here with just under twelve minutes left to go. They work their way nice and easy here through the double, double, double. Excellent battle here early here. Pro Truck D Main. These guys didn't have the qualifying that they were hoping for, so they're gonna have to play the alphabet game. Top three will bump up. That's Dylan, Daniel, and Tyler right now. Sean and Jacob trying to get in contact with the front three. Starting to bunch up just a little bit now, or at least Brown is falling. There it is, falling back into the clutches of Kirkman and Vigil. So Kirkman now up a spot as Brown hooked up a pipe.
Kirkman now officially to the third spot as they cross the loop. Kirkman in the blue. Brown in the yellow. We expect pit stops about seven and a half minute mark. Still got a lot of time left in this one. Some shout outs here. Martin Owens is uh, checking in from the UK. How you doing, Martin? Doing well? Uh, yes, it is a bit warmer here than the uh, shopping center. We had a good time last week at the MKGP. It was a good time. Big uh, shout out. Thanks to the BRCA making it possible for me to uh, join out there. We had a good time in the UK, Charlie. What? What? Uh, where was the venue? It's a big shopping mall. Okay. Massive mall. And uh, was they it put on uh, RC Race indoor carpet off road. Oh. Thousands of spectators. Sick. It's really cool. You can convert the BRCA. Anybody? Uh, you know that's the sanctioning body over there. They got it. They got their stuff together. They set up a like a little trimy track with Schumacher twelve scale cars in like a little oval, oh, so awesome. kids can come. They call it a have a go track. Have a go. Have a go. <laughs> hey, have a go. And they let the kids just drive around. And it was lined up the whole whole weekend. It's it was so awesome. Such a great event. Something unfortunately we could never make happen here in America. Not with that attitude. No. Well, <laughs> they get the mall for free. Ain't right. no mall giving nothing for yeah. free here in America. They should, though. The malls are all closing. Every mall I go to is like <laughs> yes, half exactly. closed. Even, even the sunglass hut isn't there anymore. <laughs> right. I mean, even the, <laughs> they're all, yeah, they're all dying. Very few uh, malls left. That's got to be some sort of, those those sunglass huts that are at the airport that yeah. never have customers never have those customers. in the perfume store <laughs> and the clothing store that's got to be some sort of scam for taxes You're, or something right it, it has to be because you think you i spent I mean? a lot of time but in sunglasses airports. are a biggest scam because they cost about a buck oh eight yeah. to make and they sell for 259 dollars yep. there's like you know eight thousand percent profit it's, it's the beauty of consumerism daniel dylan sean jacob and tyler Looks like new leader now going to be Parente. He took it away from Nelson. Kirkman still in the third spot. Vigil and Brown dropping down a little further. We stay on board here with Kirkman. White nose, blue tail coming at us. Nice tight line down the hill. Widens her out. Smooth and easy up and over the double. Cues up here for that far side double. Little check swing there. Double, double, and double to flat. Up and around square pipe junction. Down through that roller and to that backside section. Going to work all the way down to the center. A little bit of a power wheelie coming down the hill. Smooth and easy here over the double. little correction in the air to get it pointed the way that he wants. You can see coming into frame is Vigil Look, starting Baker. to roll in on Kirkman. A buck oh eight? A buck oh eight? <laughs> I, I, <laughs> you got you to gotta love live TV, right? So... Did you say buck oh eight right now? I, I did when I was talking about oh. sunglasses. I oh, said, you oh. know, I said sunglasses that cost a buck oh eight. And Barry Baker is in the next door container <laughs> listening to us. And uh, he comes over, like, sticks his head in the studio. Can you explain what a buck oh eight is? <laughs> it's a dollar and eight cents. Exactly. Or it's when a bucko eats something. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever a bucko is. Ah. Uh, Hey, folks, we're sorry about that. This is what you get now. You know, the Charlie and Scotty show, it's... Uh, a bucko's like a bucky, but older. You ever been to Bucky's? Uh, of course I have. Bucky's on the freeway? I don't, I don't find the appeal. It's a big store. It's great. They got lots of crap that you can buy. People go crazy about it. I know. It. They, they, there's, there's people that do just vlogs about Bucky's. Pit stop's going on now. Kirkman in the pits. Oh, good pit Up, stop there. The nice. oh, 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 oh. I see him running. Oh. Bouncing like a pinball out of the pit lane. He's That's okay. not a good sign when you see yeah, you the, release the car like you're all proud you had a good pit stop. And, and the, then the, dri the driver blows it. Yeah. <laughs> that would be like back in the day when, you remember Rito? Rito Koenig from oh, yeah. LRP? When he was always doing a stopwatch from Ronald. Yeah. And, and he would do some, and then he'd just do that turn and look up at Ronald on a driver's stand and just like, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> and, you know, it was so just – that look that he had was uh, – it was crazy. Chris Hobson, welcome to the show. All the way from North Carolina. Good to have you with us. Fabrizio from Italy. Is it – Ciao. How you doing? Buongiorno. Buongiorno. That's French. Ciao. Oh. Ciao? Ciao. Oh, ciao and – you can say ciao and it means, like, five things. You can like hi, can mm. be goodbye, mm. ciao. Hey, like, like, hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Huh? How you doing? 
Daniel out front leading the way. Dylan, Sean, Ooh. Tyler, and Jacob. And we see Kirkman here holding on to that transfer spot, and there's a bug or a truck just off the back of the shot there, and I do believe that is Brown. Brown's starting to close up on that transfer here as pit stops have been completed. Five minutes, 45 seconds left to go in this one. As they want more racing action. But Giorno also, he says, so you're, you're good. See, you're lear we're learning Italian here. Sick. I'm an international man of <laughs> something. Oh, I, we got, I, got, I got to go picture searching. We got some. We remember Italy, right? Sicily is not the same as Italy, I was told while we were there. You don't remember when we went to Rome? Oh, that's Rome? right. We did, Come we on. Did, we did Italy uh, also. Wow, we, Rome, we toured Rome, Rome together, we went to bro. Rome. I don't consider that the same either. Rome's a bigger deal than just going to Italy. We're going to Italy. Yeah, yeah. Rome was awesome. What are you doing in Italy? Daniel, Dylan, Sean, Tyler, Jacob coming to the line right now, sliding over the bump. Sean and Tyler battling for the two spot. Knows the tail here. Coming up to the six pack. Nicely through there they go. Around the left side of the hairpin. In the back. A little whip. Oh, Kirkman running wide there. That's going to allow. Well, they're up to the two and three now, so. We lost. Was it Nelson? We must have lost Nelson. Uh, Oliver quite a ways to the A main. A main is going to be later tonight. I'm thinking uh, 8 o'clock, 7 to 8 o'clock. Probably dark o'clock. Dark o'clock tonight. Dark, old dark 30. Oh, battle here. Continues. Whoa, Ooh. coming in a little hot. Man, just when you think you got it, the track's like, no, you're going too fast, dude. Slow down. I show you. <laughs> Simply RC. Says Charlie. Scotty and Charlie <laughs> learned Italian in Pizza Hut. <laughs> Coca-Cola. <laughs> Four minutes to go. Four to go. Kirkman in the two spot. We got Brown here in third with the yellow and yellow berm shot. I'm really starting to like that berm shot down there. It's very the, loamy. The pros were using yeah. it uh, all last night. Really just there's another one. Throwing it up in there. There's nothing better than splashes of dirt in the middle of a corner. It makes it seem so real. It kind of this is like you know old school off road racing right. where there's Thank you. you know roost, roosters getting you know thrown up rooster tails and. My buddy's backyard track, he runs it all loose dirt, and it is so fun. You come ripping through a berm, and there's just a wall of dirt raining down behind you. You kind of start giggling and going, <laughs> as you're driving the car. So I'm down. Uh, I was helping Aiden Horn uh, pit on practice day. I was officially. And Wait, I looked here? At, and, huh? Like doing pit stops? Oh, I was, I was like helping BT. And I can say I was helping because I was in the pits. I was holding his fuel bag. Oh, I was oh, holding his oh. sack. And You're just, like the husband outside the, the store the, the, holding exactly, the purse. Exactly, yes. Or the nothing. wife goes into, yes, exactly. But look down at what tires he's running. Whole shots. You know, the same <laughs> for three decades. You know what I mean? Hey, they man, still work. If it, if it ain't broke, don't fix yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Daniel, Sean, Tyler, Jacob, and unfortunately Dylan out in this one. Oh, better throw this out now today right now since it's, I don't know, what time we got here? We got 0940 here uh, uh, to our executive producer, Cam. You know what today is, right? Today's Saturday. It means we have two days left in country. Two days left. What are you getting at? We ain't had Shakey's yet, bro. What are you talking about? There's like 10 Shakey's pizzas in my room last night. <laughs> Yeah, Jensen's been getting shakies every night oh, from the wow. looks of things. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. We've got to find out about that. I had shakies, in fact. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Snitches get stitches. All right. I've never heard that. What? But I like that. You've never heard that? I've never heard that. But Where? I don't get out much. Where I live a sheltered been? life. Uh, of course... It would not be the Dirt Nitro Jay, Challenge without Jay, Jay Smoker bringing in his 2000 original that thing one, the number one first winning nitro truck that really isn't a truck, but it was made a truck and it's got a truck body. And back in the day, that was the truck. That was the, the truck, Truggy exactly. Was the thing, so that was the truck. Uh, I wondered when it would happen that uh, Jay Smoker would be in to show us, but that is the original truck. 
and he brings it to every DNC. You've still you've made every 25 years of Dirt Nitro Challenge, haven't you? He's been to them all. So, so yes. Smoker has been racing for ever. I, I think I, he was around in the beginning of RC. I was at uh, RC. He used to rub sticks together to make his radio work, I think, way back in the day. <laughs> it was like a hand-cranked FM radio that he ran to make his car go. We weird. got Daniel leading the way, followed by Sean, followed by Tyler, followed by Jacob. And unfortunately, Dylan having trouble here. But Daniel in control here, so trying close. to bump from the D to the C. He said it's on display in what booth? I think in the dirt booth. If you want to yeah. come check it out, it's in the dirt booth. Jay looking good this morning. Looking like he's got his ratio all dialed in for the morning routine. <laughs> he didn't have his box that he had <laughs> last night that he was carrying around, so that's cool. Daniel out front. Because when he's on the track... Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. He's an intense dude. It, he it's takes all about the ratio. He's another guy that's a member of uh, I Got a Cool Backyard Track Club. He has a very cool backyard Oh, he track. does? Yeah. Hey, Daniel, Sean, Tyler, Jacob. Top three bump. Jake, I'm not that far back here as we're in our final lap. Derek Post said he had shakies for dinner last night. Derek, I didn't get an invitation. I'm checking my phone. I got no text from you, bro. Nothing. Guys, we were trying to get a video of the truck, but he had to go right as they got the camera working. So we'll get it later. I'll go take a picture, and I'll post it. We are they winding they almost down. Had it. And then, I know. He, he was going to get like, the mobile oh, he's, cam. He's and like walking away. And yeah, got to go. Oh, well. All right, so Daniel, Sean, going to take it, and Tyler going to hang in front of Jacob to wrap up our D-Main Pro Truck. We should have him fire that thing up and go do a lap with it. <laughs> That's probably okay. The tires are all dry rotted. Oh, yeah. See what we missed in the chat. Uh oh, BJ was in mid of the hospital. BJ is my statistician. Do you know BJ? Mm. BJ, he, what, you want to ask anything about. Ray, he, like, knows. He's got one of them throbbing real brains. Oh, dude, he's, like, yeah, genius when it comes to all that stuff. What happened, BJ? You all right? Sorry to hear that. Yeah, he lives in the chat room for any event. If we need to know something, boom, he's got the, he's got the info. AJ Rodriguez, yep, I'll be at Silver State for sure. Andrew Selvaggi's checking in. What's up? Do I remember the 05 Worlds in turn? yes. I do. I got there. I was there as a um, referee for IFMAR. That was 2005, Charlie. Where? In Turin, Italy. It was the off road. I was there. Neil Craig, huh? I was there. You were the. Oh. I was in the booth all by myself. Oh, was that when you did uh, the rental car thing? No. That was off road worlds. That was in Italy. Or that was touring worlds? That was. That was off-road race. 2005, then. Oh, no, I'm thinking, you're right. I wasn't doing live RC. I was doing Novak things, and I totaled two rental cars. Yes, exactly. One of them got taken out by a stupid curb. The yeah, because the curb yeah, just yeah. moved in front of if the car. If you guys ever go to Italy, the curbs move. They yeah. just jump right out at you. It's weird. And then the other one, I had, they replaced the, the Focus. It was a Ford Focus with a three-cylinder, 1,000cc diesel uh, Peugeot or something? Or? Yeah, Peugeot. No, it was a Fiat Punta. Okay. Fiat Punta, I remember. And there's a big roundabout. <laughs> Sorry. There's a huge roundabout, and you're going to go into it and, like, upshift, third to fourth maybe. And instead of going into the fourth, this super sloppy transmission rolls right into second gear like nothing was wrong. I let the clutch out. It goes immediately to the red line. Dot, dot, dot. Two, two bounces off the limiter. There's a bang. And then there's a screen in the dash that says engine failure, engine failure, oh. engine failure. So it's like kind of making funny noises, burr, 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 and we pull over, and there's a line of oil about a, mm. like 500 feet long out the back of the car. It's like, well, that one ain't going anywhere. And this would be the second in the, the course second of weekend. two days, three days? Twelve hours. Twelve hours. Yeah, Twelve hours. Yeah. So the third car, they gave me a Peugeot 306, which is the one right below the one that they rally race. I've never driven a front-wheel drive car that you could spin out at will. That thing was awesome. <laughs> Oh, my. The exploits. There's lots of rental car stories in the world of RC. 
Barry Baker is a good one to ask about rental cars. Usually they won't tell you though. Like that's you gotta. It's got to be a late night. Yeah, late night with after the, dinner. Yeah, right. No, is there a live RC minivan? Uh, no, we never heard that. All right, so uh, our producer is telling us of the live RC minivan story. Saying they yeah, had a minivan, the battery died two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and it generated. So they said their battery died in their minivan two o'clock in the morning at the hotel That's parking great. lot. They go to open the side door, and when they open the side door, the light flickers. Yeah, it's because the auto doors. Right, yeah. the auto door. It's got a little and they're like, whoa, there. wait a minute. So a bunch of the guys got on the door, and they started sliding it back and forth, back and forth, like there were squirrels in a cage starting a generator. Look at you, and look at generator. And, oh, look at Jay Smoker there. <laughs> Jay, he always knows he's on. Yeah. Uh, they were moving the door back and forth enough to generate power, generate enough to start. There's a story. So I thought, all, it was a, I, I thought it was a crash. That was, that was, that was a crash story. Oh, they're restarting. Oh. They, they probably forgot to push the button. Was that because of the wreck? or No, it's because it's 40 plus. They, they don't want these old guys coming in the booth and yelling at them. <laughs> hey, hey guys, they my got us. Come on, man. We got to get a better grid because this is like, like hurting. Oh, jeez. So the battery never charged, like the alternator. The alternator. Bad, so then they keep door charging. And they go to the know, store. Knowing the boss, that wasn't a priority to get fixed. No, of course not. We did Texas. Brandon does have a problem with 12 volt batteries. We went to Texas for a nationals, and the air conditioning, the thermostat wouldn't work. So we're in the we're in this thing. It's 95 degrees. In the inside, car? In, inside the trailer. In oh, the broadcast oh, yeah, studio. In the like, okay. It's hot all weekend. Several months go by. He finally figures out what's wrong with it. The 12 volt battery on the trailer was dead, so the thermostat wouldn't kick on. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> oh, that was hot. Yeah, it was. The trailer was sitting in the sun, not in the shade. It was terrible. I got hey, it. we got somewhat of a grid. Here's the start. At the sound of the tone, I, Jimmy. What? Jimmy using it at the sound of the tone. I like that. And hey, that wasn't bad. Significantly less. Let's worse. see where that guy goes. He was going waiting. right to third. Oh no, I thought he was going to okay, go right to third. Okay, I'll fine. give him that That's one. That, that was proper. That was good. All right, there we go. That's a start. Forty plus electric buggy C main <laughs> racing action underway at the 2024. <laughs> Andrew Svelte says nothing screams no power like a Fiat. So <laughs> roasting a clutch at a thousand RPM. <laughs> that thing was a turd. <laughs> That's awesome, Andrew. <laughs> but I, it was a nice little car. We drove all the way up the mountain, did a very responsible driving day, and on the way back to the hotel, Miss Shift killed it. Oh, oh, contact there coming down the hill. Finally, lap number one in the books. Navarro leading what? the way. Salvis, Newman, Hansen, Walter, Sexton, Maurer, Bo, Thacker, Cordes. Cordasco, Figaro, Adams, Frey, Robinson, Smith, and Wallet, rounding out the running order. He's he put his sponsor in his last name, Wallet. Boom. Joel Navarro out front from Oceanside, California. Wait, 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 wait. Joel? Oh, Joel. Is that Joel? That is that's Joel our, that's Navarro. Your Joel. Jo that is the one and only Joel Navarro. Shut up. Formerly of Car Action, current media master at Scotty no, 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 Productions. No, 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 no. Formerly of RC Car, formerly of RC Driver, <laughs> formerly of RC Car Action, yes. formerly of Extreme, formerly of Velocity, Velocity. For whatever uh, RC medias have been I out don't. there, he's been formerly of it. Right. I Currently, don't know. did he work for Competition Plus? Back I'm in the sure day? he did. Yeah, I'm sure he did. <laughs> Joel has been in the industry for a long, long time, and uh, 
And currently, he, uh, he, you'll frequently find him as Scotty's whipping boy at a Scotty Ernst production, <laughs> yeah. where you can email Joel to find out your information. Yeah. Yes, Joel travels the world with me. Um, and, uh, yeah, good guy. Whoa! That one, where'd that guy come from? I didn't think Joel was even 40. He don't look his age. Like you. He lives a good life. You the know, guy, you, if he's not working, like he's a wedding photographer most of the time right. and then a ski instructor the rest of the time. Yep, like, he works up big bear He's got a very interesting and, life. Exactly. You would think he would be a more interesting person with all the <laughs> I love you, he Joel. Doesn't, he doesn't look his age much like you. You know, you got right. the, the Asian guy thing. You know, nobody I, can tell you're 53 years old. <laughs> when I tell people how old I am, they're like, that's it? <laughs> Wow. Charlie's run a lot of rough P- life. P- Peter Robinson said it best. I posted that safari picture of mine from 20 oh, yeah, years ago. Oh, yeah, with your with and the hat. Like, and the he app. goes, you have not aged well. <laughs> Thanks, Peter. Yeah, Daniel Savas out front, followed by Joel. Hey, how's Bob Novak doing? You you keep in touch at all? Uh, I went. Me and Stelflu went and visited That'd Bob a couple of years I. back, and uh, he's got a little touch of the Alzheimer's, but he's still healthy as an ox. Like good. carries on conversation pretty good. We got stuck in a couple loops, but he's you know fine for the most part. Oh, that's good. I sure want to see him again. He still wants to pour beers with us all the time. He what? He always wants to pour beers with us. So that's yeah. that's still yeah. Bob. Bob was an absolute legend for sure. A great guy. I hope to I hope to see him again. I think him and Andrea are 96 this year. They're what? I think they're 96 now. Him and his wife are about the same age. I think they're a year apart. They're like Bob's 95 not and 96. 96. Is he? Yeah, they were 90 something when I saw him last. Jesus. Yeah. I think I still got his. I wonder if I still got his mobile number. His profile is on Facebook. He doesn't use it, but you get, I bet his birthday's on there. I type in Novak. I got Charlie Novak. <laughs> I got Scuba. Look, I still got Scuba from when Scuba worked at Novak. And I got Bob Novak. So we stay on board here. Navarro and Hansen, nose to tail. Did we ever find out if they transfer electric? Yes, I did text to uh, the one and only JBRL, Jimmy Babcock. He said, yes, they do bump. Oh, sick action. Top three. Salvas, Navarro, Hansen, Dean Sexton. Not that far back from that transfer spot. Approaching the halfway mark of this 10-minute D main, C main, sorry. I knew he was in the chat room, and I was going to, I mentioned Barry Baker having rental car stories. You know who else has got rental car stories? Travis Amescua. Travis Amescua probably is the world record holder for the most catastrophic <laughs> rental car stories that you can have. That, he's asking fish. you about, what about the, Charlie, how was the fish in so a rental car I, in I Albuquerque? I, I wasn't part of this story, but I've heard the story, and I was at the event when it happened, so I got to experience some of the aftermath the orion guys had a rental and someone i think it was maybe lemieux went to the store and bought a whole fish from the grocery store got you know people at the track they wouldn't lock their cars you know because we're all parked right there we can kind of see our cars or maybe somebody's like let me get something out of here i don't remember the story exactly but he takes the fish and he duct tapes it to the underside of the seat of the minivan in the in the way way back. Oh, this minivan. is a Lemieux thing. It's got to be. And we're in Albuquerque, New Mexico. It's a solid hundred degrees outside every day. <laughs> All the cars are parked in the shade. Windows pretty much rolled up. And the, these guys are driving this van every day. I'm like. The van stinks. What is that smell? They're all yelling. You wear deodorant. They're making fun of each other the whole nine yards. Oh. And they pull up to the track one day, and they stop the van. Like, we got to get out of here. And as they stop the van, they this. Like, what was that? Sounds like something fell on the floor. They all start looking, and there's this rotten fish <laughs> laying on the floor looking at them. <laughs> so gross, dude. Did they find out who did it? Eventually, I think. Oh, it, my God. They that's figured awesome. It, it was Lemieux or Lemieux's buddy. I can't remember. Oh, it had to be Lemieux, I'm thinking. So, Salvis, Navarro, Hansen out front in this one. The, the fish ended up, that wasn't the end of the fish. It kept getting put in people's coolers throughout the rest oh. of the weekend. <laughs> so <laughs> you go in your cooler, and there's this gross fish in there. <laughs> it is great. Salvis out front, 315 to go. Top three, all that matters. Matt Walter, the man from Techno. He's doing some racing this weekend. That's the techno guy himself. 
Oh, that sounded like a military jet. America. Sound like a. Oh, is that a raptor or something going over? All I smell is tax dollars in the air. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's not the place our tax dollars are going, bro. <laughs> well, they. Do you mean they don't just all go into a big pool and get used for the better? No, nah, I don't. I don't think that's how it works. Oh, oh, parks it there. Joel, you oh, wish your reverse. My. Oh no, that's going to cost them. I think that was. Big Hanson Dad might have gave, the, gave up the transfer. We're about to find out. And that may change the order. Oh, no. Navarro now to the front with Salvas in the two spot. I didn't see that one coming. Maybe. Oh, no. That's why. I was looking at the wrong car. Joel has a white tail and a white wing. Salvas is the yellow wing. Coming up on some lappers. Not the kind that you want, though. Oh, a little bit of a bobble there. So that was Salvis in the lead and Navarro getting by on the bobble. So, correction. Two minutes left to go in this one. Joel Navarro leading the way. Salvis in the two spot. Hanson, Bull, Walter, Thacker, Sexton, Newman, Adams, Figueroa, Corda Cordesco, Maurer. Smith, Frey, Robinson, and Wallet rounding out our running order, but it looks like Wallet didn't make the start. Navarro across the line that time by 49-7. Salvas with a 50.3. Hansen 51-6 across the loop. Big rut on the inside of that right-hander in the safety area. Good morning, Corey. Thanks for tuning in. Mm. Mr. Thielen, I don't know the answer to that question. It comes and goes. The Internet's weird that way. One minute to go, one to go. Yeah, Joel, Daniel, and Nels. Nels hey. from the 10th spot up to the 3. I looked away, but I think Salvis got by going to make Salvas our new leader, but Navarro is still safely in the two spot. They may get by for one more, but probably not. They crossed the line just around the 40-second mark, so probably going to be out on their final right now. Hansen is also across the line, as is Bo, so a battle for the third and final transfer spot with Hansen and Bo not too far off each other. I see him there at the top of the hill. Here they come. So Hanson right now, I believe that red and white right behind him is Jose Boe. <laughs> this is the battle here. Navarro drops the second. Salvis looking like he's going to bring this home. And then the battle here, two, three, Oof. four, five, all battling here to the finish line. Oh, oh. Pushing up the hill and nothing doing. That is probably going to give it to Hanson. He'd have to make a big mistake here coming down the hill. Looks like he's going to hold on. Top three transferring to the B main in 40 plus Truggy. This one winded down. Daniel, Joel, and Nels Hansen going to be our top three. It'd be cool if his name was Nelson Hansen. It would be. Maybe it Maybe is. It Nels is. is short for Nelson. Just wait for Josh Newman or Jose. Josh. Josh? <laughs> There's no Josh. Yeah, I saw Newman. I don't know why. Yeah, there was a flashback, right? Shh. They moved to the middle of America and are living the high life now on a huge property. Really? Yeah. He got rid of all their SoCal life and moved to affordable land. But I think a lot, like here. a lot of people move. When are you going to move out of California? Next year. Kids almost done with school. Really? Where are you going to move to? Not sure. Milwaukee? Yet. I might move to a cheaper part of California. Why did you get out of California? You're right. I should. I'm definitely not moving to Milwaukee. We're consi I think uh, Nevada, maybe Utah, somewhere where the guns are easy to buy. I want more guns. There you go. There's states you can. You don't even have to do paperwork. You just buy guns. It's great. <laughs> California, you got to do a paperwork. You got to do a background check. You got to wait 10 days, and then you can't get another one for 30 days. It's really weird. You Up know, is, next, we were talking. We were oh. talking about snow earlier, Charlie. Snow. Yeah. No snow in Wisconsin. That's up north live right now, way, way up north mm -hmm. at our property. And uh, snowmobile trails never open. 
Oh, really? Never this first time in history. All the snowmobile people are super bitter. There's cut, there's businesses out of business. I'm sure. All the resorts and everything that yep. live on ice fishing and snowmobile and everything. My uncle has a place in Eagle River. Oh, Eagle River. The, the, the headquarters is the snowmobile capital yeah. of the world. Yeah. Wow. But they have a marina and motorsports place. They sell snowmobiles and boats because the snow always melts and there's lakes. So sure. he sells boats. A deer. 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 Scotty is super entertained by the deers on his property. Like he's never seen a deer before. Rich. Oh, well, good. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, the speed controls have far too many settings, and somebody explaining what they all do can be very helpful. On that note, there's a YouTube channel. It's called Hobbywing Official. There's lots of how-to videos for me talking about speed control settings. If you guys are looking to up your game on tech stuff or maybe follow along with some of the races and unboxings, look up Hobbywing Official on YouTube. Monday, you know, after this race is over. It's good for, like, work when you're at work and you want to listen to stuff instead of work. I, I do that all the time. I watch my own videos. We also have a podcast where we give away free Hobbywing stuff every episode. It's called RC Stuff Powered by Hobbywing. You can find it on your favorite podcast service. Up next, Pro Electric Buggy C Main. They're putting the honesty bar onto pit lane because people have been going into the pits too fast, apparently, and they don't like that. They don't like that at all. Cichlids, I plan to. I need some non-California capacity magazines as well, so see you soon. Oh, so I was mistaken. See what California's people know about firearms? Nothing. I was totally misinformed. <laughs> Thanks, Clubhouse. I appreciate that. I've been working at Hobby Wings since 2016 when Novak closed. They hired me up pretty much right away. Paul Lemieux was the first guy to call me, and he's like, Charlie, I know you're a loser and you have no money and you just lost your job. Do you need a check? I'm like, no, Paul, I think I'm okay for a while. The second people that called me was hobbying. They said, don't take any jobs. We're going to hire you. Just give us a couple days to figure stuff out. So that was very, very nice. I felt so wanted. But I've been there ever since, and I've been doing a new YouTube episode every Tuesday ever since then. So we have something to the effect that three, I think I just did episode 360. So that's a ton. I do miss 702. That place was pretty rad. Well, their, their dirt wasn't that rad, but the facility was pretty rad. <laughs> JV, that's a good one. <laughs> that's how bad California is. You even get uh, sick easier. So this is their warm-up lap. We got Fenster... Pavitas, Setzer, Bourbon, Buraffalo, Robinson, Harris, Cavallari, Blair, Spinrad, Vigil, Lutz, Moreno, Nelson, and Olsen are bump-up drivers. I did not choose to become a California resident. Well, I guess technically I did. I was 18 or so when I moved out there. But my dad moved out there, so I moved out there because my dad was there. And then I never came back. I went back and visited my family in the winter, and I forgot how cold it was. And I was like, oh, my God, how did it get so cold? It wasn't. I just got thin California blood now. Soft, soft, man. I eat kale sometimes. It's weird. I had a non-chai latte once. <laughs> it's not a thing. They are gritting these guys up. We'll see how good this pro start is because there are 15 pro electric buggies about to take the start of this one. Ten minutes for, pro or for all the electric mains, even the A's. Did, did you find out if they run AAA mains? I think they run AAA mains in this stuff. I didn't, but I will check. He's going to... Distract the race announcer with his pointless text messages. Oh, no, I'm going to do it a different way. Facebook message? 
<laughs> I was going to look on the heat sheets, you know. Oh. You know, oh, and see if there's, oh, you know, triple oh. listed. But that's there, what I would do if so I was a, there are tires along the wall with numbers on them, and that was the way the grid was supposed to be from what I understood. See that tire right there? It's got a number one on it. So for the Nitro races, they put them down there. Look at BT's power squat. There's Wallet, Tic-Tac-Toe himself. Single A main, says Tic- Joker Snyder Racing. Did you say Tic-Tac-Toe, Nick? Yeah, Tic-Tac-Toe. That's... N- Watlett was the first guy that I was friends with that was young enough that was hashtagging everything. And I'm like, w- what's with all these tic-tac-toes, bro? So oh, I is that what ca- you said? I started calling him tic-tac-toe when ah, I saw him. Ah, got it. And we are off. This should be good. C-Main ra- Racing underway here. Oh, oh, big bobbles here at the beginning. But the front of the field... Gets away, getting a little bunched up here as they work through the double-doubles. Nobody trying to go yard or do anything crazy. Just pick their way through the mess. Big moves. Looks like Cavalieri climbed up a couple spots. Big air there through the doubles. Going over the top. Cross pipe. Oh, gets the rut. Catastrophes, second, third, fourth, all collecting each other. That is a huge lead now for our leaders. He gets through the carnage. Got to make that first lap clean and let them all wreck behind you. Beautiful shot here as they come over that uphill double. A little bit of a miscue there on the backside. Buggies tumbling all over the track, but now finally getting it together. Our top three fencer, Springrad. Barufalo, Bourbon, Setzer, Lutz, Nelson, Harris, Olson, Vigil, Blair, Cavallari, Moreno, Robinson, and Pavitas. Man, you rolled through that nicely, Charlie. That was just boom, boom, boom. Working Fenster our way out here. front, Spinrad, Barufalo. Look at the names here in the C main. It's crazy. Cavo's in the C main. He had some good qualifying, some not so good qualifying this weekend. Only three rounds, right? Yep, three rounds. Two practice, three rounds. Ah. Uh-huh. Ain't got time for that. I wonder, just run five rounds and do th- two like you're doing. Make everything count the whole time. You know what I mean? Just for the same. Five of five? Yeah. No, 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 no. Three qualifiers, but still only count the same two. So you get three throwouts. Well, they got three qualifiers. Only three qualifiers. Make five qualifiers. Instead of the two practice, just make those qualifiers. Ah. Also. That way, if you come out of the trailer heater, you get a round. You know what I mean? It's oh, cool. Sure. Yeah, but that's ooh, you that, you show up having to be locked and loaded. I mean, there's there's no chance to breathe. It would make the weekend before the race very popular. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Top three nose to tail right here. That is Fenster, Spin Red, and now Bourbon. It was Barufalo, but Bourbon now up to the three position. That Barufalo right there, putting the pressure on. Saw Fenster get a little buck wild there. Got a sideway trying to go to the inside of Barufalo. Not happening. Joey Bordon, Fenster, now Spinrad in the mix. Barufalo is falling back. Sets her in that teal and yellow. You see him over the big double there, trying to get back in the mix. They go over the left side. Double. Oh, Bordon getting it wrong. Oh, it's not bourbon. I got <laughs> I got late night on my mind. I'm already thinking about the bourbon. It's Joey Bordon. Bourbon. <laughs> it's Bordon. Oh, well, that was a nice picture. Oh, Marshall was there. He was there. So top three had a bit of a gap, and as we saw Spinrad with a bobble there, dropping back into the clutches of the rest of the field as the transfer freight train has formed behind him. They are queued up five deep, all thirsty for that transfer position. Oh, look at this line of cars here. Ooh, ins- oh, ins- oh, 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 big whoa. bobble there. Berdan got it a little wrong. Spinrad had a hope, but they're just packing up behind these guys. A little check swing there into the doubles. Here comes Cavo. Cavo sending it there to six pack. A little hey, how you doing at the 180, but no harm, no foul. That may move Cavo in the third. No, that's fourth spot he's in right Cavo now. Cavo started it's eight. Him and Sets are going at it here. Take the wide line. Cav trying to set him up on the inside. Uh, Nothing there. Sets are slamming the door on him. Into the switchbacks. Chicane. Broom shots. Here's the tough double. They got to reach for this one. Up and over the roller. Cavo now haunting. Should be Setzer that he's with. Barufalo in the mix. They come across the line. Setzer in the three spot. Cavalieri running fourth. This is the battle for the transfer. Cavo running wide. Apply some power. Double, double, double. Comes up a little short. That's going to allow Barufalo to the inside. 
Tries just to fight him off. Nothing doing. Put his elbows out and said, beat it, Calf. Later. He came a little short there in that six-pack. Sets are still in control of that transfer. Calf trying the outside Man. line here on Barufalo. Using the pipe and the berm, trying to find a way by. He's got a mirror full of Lutz right behind him. Barufalo across the big air there, right across the nose of Cavo. Could have been a disaster, but they'll take lucky over good any day. Oh, Barufalo getting it all kinds of sideways. Oh, Cavalier gets Cavo. collected. Lutz is going to go by. Drag race him and Barufalo. Barufalo on the inside. Barufalo going to hold that spot. Barufalo now to the transfer spot, but he's got Lutz and Joey Bordon locked behind him. Bordon likes the sight of this. He says, take each other out. I want that spot. Lutz Every trying to go to the inside there. Nothing there. Barufalo keep oh, it. Oh, no. man. Setzer getting it wrong in front of him. Setzer was in second, so that's going to move Barufalo now to the two. Screwed by a lapper in the bad way. Up and over the center double rollover there. That was Berdan haunting. A little too quick. Unloaded over the double all the way down to like 10th now after that. Ouch. Great shot there from that center double. Here they come to the start finish line again. Tyler Fenster out front leading the way. Second spot for Ruffalo. Third spot now, showing it's going to be Setzer and Cavallari. Their nose to tail here, coming into the six pack. Setzer through the double, Cavall White Rith, and their little nose high comes Ooh. up just a bit short there. Oh, Cavo getting it wrong over that backside double. Going to give Setzer some breathing room. A whole lot of breathing room for Setzer here. So he goes over the uh, right side double there into the pit. And now a whole <laughs> gaggle of cars going into the pit. Cavallari trying to go to the inside, catches a run, can't do it. Looks like Harris, Lutz, and Pavitas now working with Cavo here through this center section. I believe that is Harris at the front of this group. Up and over that top side section. These guys all kind of got collected by that same lap traffic. One took out Lutz, and it was all of them kind of collecting pace after that. So it's Lutz, Harris right now. Cavalier, Pavitas, Moreno from the transfer spot all the way up to eighth. boy, Ivan. Make it happen. Oh, Marshall going down. See him slip? This is. Luckily, Lutz. it was a kid because if it was an adult, man, that would have broke a hip. They got rubber ankles when they're that age. It's fine. Three minutes to go in this one. Fenster out front. Barufalo sets her. Lutz not that far back. Ryan Lutz just doing his hot lap, the last lap, making up a half a second on Setzer. You can He's see three Setzer. seconds behind. You can see Setzer just off the front in the yellow, and you see... Lutz now pushing hard down the hill. A little counter steer there. Harris in that five spot. Pavitas now by Cavallari. Cavallari down to seven as his rough race continues. Pick up Setzer now on that backside section. Blue top, yellow wheels. Yellow highlights on his black wing. Getting a little wrong coming down the hill there. Able to salvage. Up and over the double, nice and smooth. You see him kind of almost touch brakes as he comes down the hill to avoid the speed that requires the rollover. Through the chicane, sets her net, teal and yellow. Behind him is going to be Lutz, Harris, Pavitas, Cavalieri. Josh Vigil behind him. Vigil's just doing his hot lap. Nine laps in here. This is a, got about two and a half minutes to go in this 10-minute final. C group of pro. Setzer was coming down the hill there, and the buggy was not happy. Decided to turn right on him for no reason, or turn left, rather, for no reason. Able to salvage as we drop up to, I believe, this is our battle with the lead. Yes, it is. This is Fenster and Barufalo, nose to tail. They came across eight tenths. Now they are nose to tail. Good lines by both through the chicane here, using that wall there, trying to get over the roller. Square up for the double nicely. Into the backside, a little step up they go. Cross the start finish line. Oof. That... That inside start finish area is a little dicey. So Baruflo now to the front. He got by Fenster with a 46 second lap time. I think Fenster had a rollover. Jacob Hardison in line, on line, checking out, cheering on Lee Sensor Wire. <laughs> There's a nickname for you. Ooh, big move there by Baruflo to the inside. Thought he was going to catch the pipe, but maybe that's the line now. So drivers start to find some of the smooth spots. You can see the loam line starting to show these guys where to go. Go for the soft stuff. It'll fill in the hard stuff. We're at one minute. One to go. Oh, the battle. Through the center behind our leaders. They come to the start-finish line. 
Cross the stripe, they go. Baruflo still in control. Tyler Fenster sets her in the three spot. Those Lee sets are just doing a hot lap. Here comes Hab Havitas now to the four spot. They're side by side going into the six pack. Pavitas and Lutz, I think. Trouble up front. I think that was Baruffalo getting it wrong. So that, that sets her in front of Baruffalo. No, nope, that's Fenster, I believe. So it's sets her in yeah. that teal and yellow yep. getting by Fenster here. Into the chicane switchbacks. Looks like Fenster was upside down for a moment. That allowed... Sets her to close that gap and now has some breathing room as time is expiring. They're getting caught at the line. Getting caught. Sets are going to finish in the two spot and you see a 50 second outlap for Fenster. Almost lost the transfer but held on. Baruffalo from five on the grid. Going to do the bonus lap in front of everybody. Pavitis in the four spot. Cavallari fifth. Lutz was sixth. Steve Harris going to round out seventh. Vigil, Bordon, Moreno, Nelson, Spinrad, Olsen, Robinson, and it looks like Austin Blair out after only one lap. That is going to do it for our Pro Electric Buggy C main action. We have lots more racing this afternoon. Don't move a muscle. Up next will be, I believe it's a nitro truck race. No, it's not. Otherwise, we would have heard him revving up already. Maybe it's an electric. Give a chance to get us caught up here, Charlie, in the chat room. Give some shout outs. Joel Dennis, how are you? James Doherty. Jacob Hardison, as we said, hey, Mike Cavs with us. He'd been with us all weekend. Three bump up, James. Brian Miskolchik. That's a tough one. How about Brian M., what's up? How you doing? Tony, Sh Tony Schumacher with us. How are you? Daniel Santo, welcome to the show. Eddie Staggs, the clubhouse. He's been with us forever. Mr. Hartshorn, good to have you with us, sir. JV back with us. Mango checking in from Vegas. That guy can paint. He's a painter. Sportsman Electric Buggy C. Main coming up next. Ramirez, Maurer, Callis, Reyes, Jasula, Van Norden, Aspen, Morris, Fievelson, Garcia, Johnson, Thibodeau, Faust, Sexton, and Lozoya. And they're going to do their warm-up lap. They get one out lap to sight the track, find all the holes. And then they bring them to the grid, the faux grid. Hi, Nancy. Nancy Fend, what's up? Oh, hi, Nancy. How are you? Oh, she's happy to have the team back together. Exactly. It's been a long time. Still, Nancy, after all these years, I still don't get top billing. It's still a Charlie and Scotty show. It's because of alphabetical order. Ah, that's why. Yeah. Ernst before yeah, Sawanka, though. Right, age before Grace. Ah. Or something. <laughs> you almost had it. You, you, you were on a roll there, and it just, yeah, it just it all fell, fell off apart. the cliff. It all fell apart. <laughs> Oh, my. Good to have you uh, all with us from around the world. It has been a worldwide audience, no doubt about it. Your hand sanitizer smells delicious. Oh, this is this is lotion. Are you lotioning up for me? Buddy? No, no. It's, oh. uh, you know, sanitizer. It's lotioning up for me. Yeah, my daughter, Sarah Ann, she, uh, what, what, what was this place? Uh, bath is I thought you were going to say she started her own company making, because that's what all the wives do now, is they start their own <laughs> soap or candles or... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Herbal essence oils. Yeah, all that yeah stuff. no. Yeah. No. They, these were on sale at that uh, bath and place, and they were only like a buck. So as much as I travel, I always try to keep one with me, and I have uh, eucalyptus spearmint. Mm. It smells beautiful. It smells nice. It makes yes. you smile. This guy. Welcome to the show. Thanks for tuning hey, in. Hey, Hussein, RT driver, checking in from Kuwait. Awesome. Good to have you back. He's been with us for years, always checking out the shows. Good to have you. I See, Charlie, how organized I am this year? It's pretty, I'm, I'm sure. I, 
So for for a very long time, Scotty was a notepad guy. He would write it. He had this yellow pad of paper. He still has it. That's right. I went and bought a brand new one, Charlie, just to show you. I went and brought a brand new one just in case. Well, yeah, and he still uses it on occasion. But now he's he's moved, he's stepped his game up. He got himself a fancy iPad with a keypad and one of those pencil things. And he, he's going ham. He's he's getting real organized. I'm trying. You can teach old dogs. All right, tricks, we're about right? to start this one off. C Maine sportsman. This will be a mess. This will definitely be a mess. Instant contact. Oh, that guy took off and did a donkey flip immediately. How did he even do that? Look at him. He's not lifting. No, why he was we... sawn at the wheel. Just... Over the top. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he, just... <laughs> he like singled and then went to go over the top. That was awesome. Electric A scale has more power than it knows what to do. Yes, with. it definitely. Yeah, if you can get to traction, you can there's times I think far. somebody should put a 3S in it instead of a 4S. I was talking to Fee Long's dad, and they do that now. They run little motors on 3S. So really? they actually run a smaller motor, 3S battery. It's a lot lighter, handles better, plenty of power. I'm like, that's pretty cool. That's going to be my, my plan is to run 3S when I. Uh, yeah, and you can get a bigger. More capacity, 3S, so you don't have to worry about runtime. A lot more consistent. Oh, leader, big bobble on the backside there. Giving up his transfer to many other drivers. Joel says, demo derby time. That was a kind of crazy start. Oh, Ramirez has a huge lead over these guys huge. right now. Huge. He's a whole section ahead already. Ten minute a race here for the C group of Sportsman Electric. Look at Thibodeau from twelfth on the grid all the way to fifth. Faust also one of the transfer drivers working his way up the ladder. Good start for those guys there. Long way to go, eight and a half minutes to get to the front. Top three get the transfer. Oh, get it wrong going to the chicane. That's the transfer spot right there. Those three drivers duking it out. Morrison, Thibodeau, Van Norden. Which is which? No idea. Looks like second place with a big bobble there. He's racing him on the sidelines. That's it. That trying. Oh, I thought he was going to keep it going. Yeah. Just run into the pole. Oh, that was Lapper. Was it? Oh, no, it just shifted. So Ramirez was... out front. Mower and Morrison. Top three. One, two, and eight. Kenny from the eighth spot. Up to the transfer here with eight long minutes to go. Ramirez starting on pole. Good battle here going over to center. Big double into the pit. Oh, coming up a little short he is. Ramirez still in control of this one. We're working our way. I think the race 32 today. We're going to have a little practice about midday for the A main guys. Oh, trouble in the backside. Ramirez is going to maintain the lead. This battle coming across the start finish line. Mower and Morrison already cross. Now, this one here, the all white, that is going to be a Mike Callis, followed by Derek, Adam, and Mark. That's the battle five, six, and seven as Ramirez maintains the lead. He is out front. Ramirez out front leading the way. Ramirez right now, he's got about a seven-second lead. Ramirez, Mower, and Morris in your top three. Forgot how to use the buttons for a second. Who are we riding along with here? Two spot. Oh. That's a bobble by our leader, Ramirez, and nobody sees him. That may change things up here. I want to say, oh. and he's not doing any better. He punched it. He, he, he was just on the throttle. So we will find out here in just a second if that was our leader, Ramirez. It looks like he's really going for the jumps. Mm. This is a lap he wants to forget. This is, I, I feel like they forgot the layout a little bit here. <laughs> A 
Coming down the hill now. We're going to get our new order. And it, so Ramirez now back to the front. They gave it back to him. So that's our top three, four right there. All nose to tail within a couple seconds of each other. Ramirez having a very rough lap here. Lost the rhythm. I believe this is going to be Thibodeau now in the red and yellow. Thibodeau coming down the hill there, up and over the roller. Coming up to the halfway mark here in this one. This is our Sportsman Electric Buggy C-Main. Oof. I thought he was going to hit him. Trying Oops. to set up, trying that inside line. There's a big rut there, so it's a Oof. tough. There's a lot of spots where the car just flips over. And I, I think someone called it a minefield before. Oh, no. That was almost terrible. So Ramirez is going to somehow hold on to the lead. Or no, that's Morris now to the lead. Ramirez in the two spots. So Ramirez is in the red, white, and blue. Morris is just ahead of him there. And Thibodeau in the pink and yellow or red and yellow. Now Ramirez back to the front. A little bumping, shoving there between Thibodeau and Morrison. Ooh, nice pass on the outside there, going to the left side double. Now coming into the pit. Oh, he went for all of it. That's not the line. That was slightly better. Oh, deep calming breaths, guys, deep calming breaths. He's going to go down, stop, and then go. Good job. Ramirez across the line. Here's Morrison. Nope, sorry. That's Thibodeau. Morrison's in the white. He'll be just there. And next car in line is Maurer. So that'll be a transfer battle if he can get there or if Morrison makes a couple more mistakes. little single there. Jumps to the inside of the pipe. Gets a little stuck. So not as... Oh, no. Off to the inside of the barrier there. Falls down a spot, so that's going to allow Maurer pass. Maurer, I believe, yellow wing there. Going to be our new third spot runner as Morrison trying to hold on to fourth as he's got to deal with Jasula. And just when you think he's got it away clean, Morrison with a, I'm sorry, check that. Maurer with a bit of a bobble falls back now into the clutches. Three minutes to go in this one, and our bump-up driver, CJ, is trying to work his way into this no, fight. Ramirez fell back with these guys. The red, white, and blue is just ahead of them now. Here they come. This is the battle across our finish line for fourth and fifth there as Adam moves up. Ramirez is second. Adam Jasula is third. Morrison, Maurer, and Faust, four, five, and six. <laughs> right it is the marshal, no lift. So I think this should be Ramirez and Jasula, if I remember. Because I think Ramirez is the red, white, and blue car. Derek in control. Transfer driver from the 12 to the point. I don't know about you, Charlie, but when I'm racing and I'm in a race where there's bump ups. If I get one bump up, and then even if I right. fail miserably feels, in the next race. It feels like a win. If, exactly. It feels like a success. I'm happy. I'm leaving. Okay, I bumped up one time. I, I didn't stink so bad. We saw Thibodeau make a mistake there, so that put Ramirez back to the front, and now Morrison up to third. So Thibodeau from 12th on the grid finds himself running second right now. Morrison and Maurer after that fighting over that transfer spot, and it looks like they're kind of close. Minute 40 to go, 140. Here on the race clock, top three. That's all that matters for these guys. Getting it a little bit wrong there. Mid-pack uh, Ramirez still out front. It's Ramirez there with the yellow wheels, red, white, and blue body. He's been at the front on and off. He had some very rough laps through the middle, but shook those off. And now back to the front. Nope, that's not accurate. They're coming across the line here. Ramirez still out front. Derek there in the red and white with the yellow wheels. Kenny there. Then a bit of a break. There's Maurer. So Kenny and Michael, the battle for the transfer spot there, going into the six-pack. we got five zero seconds to go. This is the battle. Oh, that double looks so easy, but it's not. No, we've seen so many crashes over there. I feel like there's no easy sections on the track. Is 
Just Over off. to center, roller here. Coming into the backside double. Ramirez leading the way. Derek, Kenny, Michael, Adam, and CJ, your top five. So they come across the star Looks finish like line this time by. Thibodeau got him. We're following Derek now to the lead. Ramirez in second. Coming into the six pack. Oof. This is the final lap. Ten seconds to go. Ramirez got a little wrong there, but able to keep it on the track. Stay in contact. Faust now from 13th to 3rd looking to double transfer. That's it. I called it earlier there that he was on his way back to the front. Derek leading away. Cheo second. CJ, two transfer drivers trying to go all the way to the front. Ramirez almost threw it all away. He jumped up the hill. The car was on its side and somehow whipped it back right as it landed. That was impressive. And it looks like here's the battle. Between Faust and Maurer, oh. Faust into the back door. Man, didn't know the drive through was open, oh. and that cost him here in the yeah, double. He lost all the time. Oh, no. That, I believe, is Maurer, maybe Morrison. With and the they crashed. The got. It's not over yet. Oh, to the line. A drag race. And just like that, the door is open for Michael Maurer. CJ having a terrible last lap there. Faust had it. In mm. his hands, was about to be our first double transfer. Got collected in a crash accident, turned sideways, and it just fell apart from there. They were too close. Now, that's the flip side of what I said earlier. You get a bump, you feel good. that you yeah, <laughs> If you were in a worse. second bump and that happens, oh, man. You need and to his, take it, all sharp implements away from me. It sort of wasn't his fault because no. the guy crashed in front of him. But yeah, they, that was did bobble after that, but it's hard. It's hard out there. Uh, Dylan Peterson, how are you doing? I am doing swell. Good to be back with my longtime friend, Charlie Swanka. Some people don't even know how far our friendship goes. Well, I've known I call it a friendship. I, I don't know what he calls license. it, but you, uh, yeah, you, you, what were I you like? I still remember to this day, the first time that I went to trackside on my own when I got my driver's license, I drove up there and we were getting done with racing. The place was closed. Everybody's leaving. I left the same time you did and I turned my car on the parking lot and I turned the steering wheel all the way till it got to the stop. So I stopped doing that. It's bad for the steering pump. I always think of that to this day when I back out of a turn, turning, like, oh, really? turn my wheel all the way. I'm like, stupid Scotty's in my head. Oh, my dad taught it to me. My dad, yeah, exactly. You never, never right. turn your wheel until the end. I didn't know. I was 16. You hear the pumps going. Yeah, yeah. No, it's bad. At least that's what my dad said. I'm not a mechanic. Yeah. But that's what dad taught me. So that's what I live my life by. Yeah, Charlie used to come up. What were you? I didn't maybe care. 12? I was a spoiled little brat. Free car, free RC. I had a <laughs> yeah. gas car that my dad gave me. I was yeah. a little jerk. How's your dad doing? Living the life in Thailand? He's on wife number four or five. I'm, I lost <laughs> track. I'm not sure. <laughs> He seems well. Huh? He seems well. I haven't talked to him in a few years, but last time I talked to him, he kind of forgot how to speak English real well, and he kept talking Thai to me. I'm like, are you talking to me? He's like, oh, sorry. <laughs> Hard Luck Mike says he, uh, at the duel at Trackside, he got the bump from the D to the B. That's awesome. You're knocking on the door of the main. Toddy Anderson. From RC Excitement in Matt, what, Mass Maine, Massachusetts. Toddy, is your dad Pennsylvania? there? I don't know. Tell your dad to call me. East Coast. I got your message, Scotty, and I replied. Exactly. Eric Vocal. Vocal. Eric. What's up, the Viking? He stopped doing RC for a he, while, did real cars, and came back. Welcome uh, back, Eric. Yeah, was, yeah, I thought yeah. we lost another one to real motorsports. <laughs> and then no, you realize how dangerous it is and how much expensive. Yeah. And exactly. Stadium truck master is Eric. He loves him some stadium truck. I used to always tell Ken, well, truck don't count because you'd always win the <laughs> truck. I'm like, ah, too bad truck don't count. <laughs> he, he didn't like that. Missed so that truck's guy. the hardest. It's got the biggest tires. It's hardest to make the motor go. I'm like, well, that's why you win because you're the only one that's good at that. <laughs> it was awesome when we were doing a straight line show, the short course showdown, and uh, he would always come, you know, represent Associated, and, man, it was awesome. Mm. Yeah. Miss Kenwald. Day. I'll put a call on his schedule, he says. That's good of him. He's got people for that now. <laughs> oh, copy that, Toddy. Well, I'll, I'll reach out. I'll give him a call. 
Scotty's yeah, put a call on Scotty doesn't call there people. People call Scotty. He <laughs> sends me a text message. Call me when you get a minute. Well, you're always so busy. You're a busy guy. Scotty uh, doesn't call me anymore because I never answer. <laughs> I am I am old school. You know, these young kids these days, they would rather spend 20, uh, 20 minutes of exaggeration. They would rather spend 8 to 10 minutes texting back and forth to solve something that a 30-second phone call would finish. Am I, I wrong or am I right? I'm, I'm, Robbing I'm, brain, who's, I'm, who's got I'm, my back I'm on this? I'm starting to appreciate that more and more because I've been dealing with Matt on lots of things, and he, like, sends a message, and, like, Matt Gonzalez. Oh, Gonzalez, okay. And I'm like, you made a statement. What am I supposed to do with this? Please tell me what you want. I don't <laughs> so need you have this. another text yeah, to I don't, ask I that. don't need this information. Complete your thought and then message me. Like, get the hell out of here. Damn kids. Stupid kids. See? So another thing that maybe Scotty was right, as, maybe. As I get older, the more I agree with all your stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got to write this down. This is, what's the date Race today? Racecraft USA, welcome to the show. Thanks for tuning in. See, everybody's got my back. Sometimes old school is still right. Well, there's more old people on the internet on a Saturday morning. That's all. The young kids <laughs> yeah, the are kids playing, are. They're not. They're Fortnite not night and Call of Duty <laughs> with the Euros that are on there going to sleep. Yeah, so they stay true. Get up early. <laughs> yes, you can review a text later. Yeah, but if you get the point across, then there's no more questions. You can just do it. <sighs> I, I just realized that I said I agree with Scotty. Publicly, <laughs> that's yes. That's I gotta true. go hang myself. It is on record, and since we're <laughs> bonus lap members, we can go right. back and watch, can watch this again. Replay. We'll just and go back to race. Uh, what race number is this? Uh, race this number would 10. be race number ten, and we can we can review this forever. I also appreciate why old people are so grumpy. It's because of the young people. <laughs> I'm not grumpy though. You should be. <laughs> I'm happy. Yeah, you're, my glasses. You know what? That's not true. You're secretly grumpy. Secretly like you sit gr- around with Scotty and you're not like doing a broadcast or there's nobody around. He's a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> he talks all kinds of trash on all of you guys. Oh, re- oh really? He yes. Doesn't. That, I'm, I'm inflecting myself because I do that. <laughs> Most of my best friends, I hate them. Like I could sit around and talk trash on Scotty to like tennis or Brandon or anybody. Pick out all the things I hate about you right off the top of my head. Like I was like thinking about him all the time. And I don't know why that is. It's very strange because I hate him. Well, I, I wrote this down earlier, Charlie. See what I wrote down? Two minutes. Exactly. That's how long it was going to take from the start of the broadcast until the first burn it you put on It was zero minutes. I was burning was, you. You burned me before. You exactly. To get you burned started. me before we went live. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what a lifelong friendship is all about, right? Stop telling people I'm your friend. <laughs> Acquaintance. <laughs> oh, look at it. He's going all the way out in the straightaway. Look at it. Just a little more. Just there. <laughs> Down and quiet. <laughs> he had one foot behind the pipe. No, and it was it was a tiptoe. We should have we should have stayed with that one to see if it worked. Fifteen minutes in this forty plus nitro truck final. This is the C main top three transfer from this into the B main as they work their way towards an A final possibly. So they don't have like a sportsman forty plus, an intermediate forty plus, no, just one forty plus. plus. When are they going to bring that in? I, I think they're good on their uh, on their classes. They got kind of everything, everything covered. Oh, upside down and, and nothing. To, oh, kind of brave. Still ran out there, dancing the jig out there, trying to avoid the cars. Not a great start. We've seen worse, but we have. definitely not a great. You know, there's a real truck body. Who's running truck boats at the front of this one? Nobody. Ooh, contact. Oh. oh. Cameraman, show the crash. Nose to tail. We got first, second, third out there. This is our battle for fifth, sixth, and seventh. Fourth spot got a little bit of breathing room. Oddball photo. See, I was thinking about you when, when that guy threw his car out in the middle of the lane. I was I was thinking about you that, ah, uh, see, that's what he's talking about. That doesn't happen in Europe. They got, like, starting boxes. It's terrible. Oh, oh, speaking of terrible. terrible. There you go. <laughs> Oddball says cheaters. I think oh. that's how you say terrible in Spanish. Terrible. Ah, terrible. All right. Well, not really cheaters because you're not cheating if you don't get in trouble. For right. It. If, if they allow it, it, you know. He did have one foot on the pipe, so maybe that's I guess. the rule. 
I would uh, have BT do that because you get your a car. B, yeah, you get your Ryan car in Lux, other lane. Exactly. <laughs> have them like just thinking it would take him one step to get across the. God, I don't know BT. I wonder if he was good in the long jump. You know, in in school, him and Lutz. I always oh hate upside him. down. Ooh, that's our leader. That it, it was Robinson upside down, getting it wrong. That's going to let Sexton and Paul Facker behind him. Do you know who Paul is, Charlie? I don't know if you know Paul. I think so. Paul is a former X Games snow cross champion. What's snow? Uh, like world snow record wheels. holder in snowmobile jump, oh, okay. 300 plus feet. Sick action. Uh, unfortunately, he got uh, paralyzed in a snowmobile accident. Uh, um, he still races, and he started a program for veterans coming back out of the service that have, like, PTSD and everything, mm -hmm. and he takes them on excursions like fishing oh, and sick. Stuff, what's, ATV rides. What's riding. the name of the thing, you know? Uh, PT11.com. So, uh, again, to our viewers, if you have friends or family that uh, are veterans, maybe going through a tough time, check them out on uh, PT11.com. <laughs> and uh, From the top maybe a road. chance to get them a little help. So that's second and third right there. Fourth and fifth just off the back. Our lead group starting to gap just a little bit. Is that Sexton in the yellow-green? Is that Dean Sexton? Is that the Backer same to the lead. Is that the same Dean Sexton from 10 years ago? I think so. Dude, him and Smoker are the longest, oldest racers. And uh, Donnie V. Don, yeah. yeah. My dad used to, so my, my dad raced with us a lot in SoCal, and he built track and stuff like that for us when we ran our parking lot series. And Finka Mulder used to come out there. And my dad had a real heavy Asian accent. Real heavy. And he'd call him Don Dinkamolder. <laughs> so I always see him, like, what's up, Dinkamolder? And he's like, it's not my name. He remembers. Oh, big stretch there, oh. trying to come out of the oh, pit. Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. Marshall, he is there. Incoming. Oh, right, right in front, in front of, of the car. Yeah, yeah. That's how it goes. Tough luck there. So that should be, I think, a Lacey, if I'm not mistaken. After that shuffle, we're about to find out. Sexton Till in the two spot, our new third spot runner. Is Timby. Thacker out front leading the way. 10 30. Left to go in this 15 minute final. We ride around with Timby in that aqua and black car. Buggy. It's not a car. Jim Hughes checking in. What's up, Jim? Hope you're doing well. Uh, it's Ronald Folk's birthday today. That's right. Thank you, X Tech. I forgot. We'll have to wish him happy birthday if we see him. He's his birthday's on Steve Austin Day. Today is Steve Austin Day. Three sixteen, baby. Ah, uh, got it. Can I get a hell yeah? You said Steve Austin. I thought of the six million dollar man. I, mean, I could be getting it. It might not be Steve Austin. It could be Steve something else. The chat will tell us here in a second. I'm sure. Stone, Stone Cold. Cold that's Austin. right. Yeah. I think. Yeah, I was it's thinking Stone Cold old Day. Six million dollar man. Do you remember that, Cam? Are you young Can enough? Cam's like 20, dude. He doesn't remember anything that we remember. I get a thumbs up from Eric. You remember Eric, Six Mile Dollar Man. closer to our age. I think Eric might even be older, uh, old as me. I think he's... I was born in 79. 79. When were you born? I was born in 1960. So if you guys are ever at a race and Scotty's <laughs> announcing, the best, the best to do is get word out that it's his birthday. And then everybody goes up and wishes him happy birthday all day. And he's too nice to, like, he doesn't have enough time to tell them that he's getting messed with. So he just says, thanks, and he walks on. So Charlie's every time we're that. at a race that I get to announce with Numerous Scott, he'll, he'll leave the room every once in a while. Like, he usually, not for very long, but he'll leave just long enough that I can tell everybody that it's his birthday. And then we get to tell everybody it's his birthday. It's great. It's freaking great. Paul, your leader, followed by Tim, followed by Dean. This year I get to cel my, celebrate my baby birthday in Jakarta. Oh, oh! Be in Jakarta, Indonesia. Turn sixty this year. Mm, wow, wow! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Chance says maybe not. Sounds like you're stroking out. <laughs> Paul, your leader, Tim. Hey, let's get back talking about racing. What do you say? Thacker out front, leading away. Tim B still in that two spot, though. Oh, no, up to the two spot. Check that. Sexton dropping down a spot as we ride on board with Mr. Dean Sexton. 
So this is confirmed by the throbbing yeah. brain. It is the old school original. Never imitated. <laughs> Often imitated, never duplicated. No, I was going to say never imitated. Oh, yeah, never <laughs> imitated. Got it. Definitely not duplicated, Dean Sexton. I got to go say hi to Dean later. It's been 15 years since I've seen that guy probably. It's funny how once we're in the hobby, I mean, it's just rarely do. People might leave like Eric, but then they come back, right? Typically, they come back. One yeah. I do customer service. So if you call tech support, I'm the jerk who answers the phone and won't answer your question very directly because I'm a professional. I can't just tell you stuff like that sometimes. But one of the most common folks that I talk to next to the guy who just bought an X-Max or a Slash or an Arma Creighton or something like that is the guy getting back into racing and how much things have changed from back in his day. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, well, I've been here the whole time. And you're right. It's changed a lot. What is your question? Get on with it. Stop <laughs> telling me your stupid story. They want to tell stories. Oh, man. RC people in general are a little lonely, and that's why we do this. And we, we get somebody who's into it. Like, that's our friend. Let's talk to him. Bad social skills. Yeah, <laughs> real bad. Paul. Myself Tim, included. Like, I learned social skills because I was an announcer, and I had to deal with a lot of people that had bad social skills. I'm like, I hope I'm not like that. Like, am I doing that? And I catch myself doing it. I'm like, well, I'm not doing that anymore. My favorite one is the turn around and walk away. When you're at a raid, you're talking to somebody. You've been there all weekend. They talk to each other for a second, tell a joke, tell a story, whatever. Stop talking, and they just turn around and walk away. No, no talk to you later. No, no closure to right, the conversation. Yeah, yeah. So I've been making a very, very hard effort to not do that when I'm at races. Like, all right, man, I'll talk to you later. And then I turn around <laughs> and I walk away. See life lessons you get here on LiveRC.com as we watch Paul, Dean, and Tim. Top three, Ryan trying to get up to that transfer spot. Pit stops here, coming down, going through. Sexton now working through some traffic. Uh, I believe he's up to the two now, but that could have been through pit stop cycles, getting it a little bit wrong there, but able to hold on. I used to race. Dean was one of the guys that used to come down to OCRC and run electric A-scale with us. We blew up so many speed controls trying to figure that stuff out. Before electric A-scale was a thing, Novak had that monster truck system and the conversion kit. You remember those? Yep. You could take a nitro car and put an electric motor. It came with a heat sink and a mounting plate and all that. We just needed people to drive the cars and see what broke. Dean's like, I'd do it. Here's the battle, Tim and Dean. Then a bit of a break for Ryan. Ryan's going to need some uh, some help with five and a half minutes to go. Thanks, Papa Bear. I appreciate that. I'll go take a look later. Ryan right now about 18 oh. seconds behind Dean. Now 10.7. Sexton with a bit of breathing room. That's lap traffic that he's with right there. Robinson showing in the fourth spot, 20 seconds off the back last time they crossed the line. So not too much to worry about. Five minutes still to go in this one. Ooh, great shot there of a bobble. Thacker at the front, B in the two spots. Sexton still holding down third, but Robinson now 10 seconds only the gap last time they came across the line. Sexton across with a 49. Robinson closing in right now. That's kind of better. I was wondering why that was... Um Paul Thacker out front leading the way. Tim and Dean. So it's race 10. On our way to 32 today. Dean looking pretty smooth here in the closing stages. Got four minutes, 20 seconds on the master clock as he comes into the interlock. Little berm shot there. Almost saw the bottom of the truck. That's not what you want. Little safety jump there to the top. Working with some lap traffic here. Going to make smart decisions and take him out. Not the move. But, I mean, you're getting laps, so I can't even get mad at that stage. Thacker in control of this one. A seven-second lead over Tim. And Dean, Josh, your transfer driver to the four spot. But he's going to need some divine intervention here as he is 13.8 seconds behind your transfer driver, Dean Sexton. Robinson and Alacy battling with each other, not making up any time yet. You see Sex in there, 47-9 is hot lap. Over the roller, through the double, gets to the downside, finds a pothole. Little side wheelie there, getting her up on the bicycle for fitness. Cross the line, Paul. 
Six seconds is the gap between him and Tim. Dean now 2.7 behind Tim. Then still a big break here between Mark and Josh and Ryan as they battle it out. Sexton, I think, maybe even closing in on these guys a little bit. The gap last time was eight seconds. See what it is this time by. Still got 245 left to go, so six or seven more laps. Back are in control, but lean this one since pretty much the start of this race. He has then uh, drove a very, very good race. Forty-nine, forty-seven. Tim B with a forty-seven. Oh, Sexton with a rough one there, a fifty-one. So I, maybe this is Tim B that we picked up. I feel like it is. Two minutes to go. Two to go. Nice shot there. Perfect landing. Going yard there over the double, makes it clean. See it like check swinging, coming down the hill, doing all sorts of funny extra maneuvers. That is Tim B that we're on board there with the green tail and the white nose. Sexton running third, Robinson Alacy, Alantaga, Malera, Nybacher, Vukasovic, Vukasovic, Scott, Kakela, Trez. Tre Trevizio, Trevizo, Trevizo, and Anders. It's, it's painful, I know. Paul, Tim, Dean, your top three. Bit of a break here still between Dean and Mark. Mark just doing his fast lap at a race that time, 47.8, but he's 11.2 seconds back. Coming down to our final minute now, we pick up Thacker, our race leader. Hacker playing it nice and safe there. Single singles in, then double doubles out. The last thing you want to do is give it away on the last lap. A little rollover, flame out, something terrible. <clears throat> 30 seconds. Thacker trying to keep it together here. 40 one. plus C main. He might make it by for one more. I think he's good on 20 seconds on the race clock. Shout out to Corey Craig. What's up, Corey? Hope you're doing well. Thacker, your leader. Cross the line. It's going to be a happy man if he can uh, bring this one home with the W. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Time has expired. Tim B is safely into the B main. Sexton crosses the line safely into the B main. Robinson started out front. Was climbing his way back up the ladder, but ran out of time. Alacy in the five spot. El Alantaga, Malero, Bukasovic, Scott, Kakela, Nybacher, Treviso, and Anders. Sorry, Mike. Out our running. Uh, Brandon's out. Hmm? No, I was talking to well. Mike Kaz. So Thacker coming around, taking a win, a solid run from the three starting spot. Pretty much going to take this one from the start to the finish. Good run for Paul. Remember I said, uh, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Remember he used to say that? Who? David Church. Remember David Church? <laughs> Remember David? <laughs> yep. Unfortunately, he's, uh, he's left us. But, uh, yeah. Passed away. So is that announcer guy? Yeah. When? Three, two years ago. Oh, man, that sucks. Yeah. He was a lot of fun. He was. I he's, got to do a couple races with that guy. Yeah, he, he was uh, yeah, he was a good guy. Sometimes too good of a guy. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, good guy. We went to, he flew out here, I forget what race it was. And we get to the airport, and we had a layover. So we went to the bar for our layover. Really? <laughs> yeah. That sounds odd. We had a great time. And then we get 
you know, the next flight, and then we get to the airport, and we're realizing that we're hammered because we haven't eaten anything all day. He's like, I brought snacks. <laughs> and he opens up this bag, his carry-on bag, which is full of candy the whole time. He was bringing it for all of us because you know how you travel, you bring – I'm like, oh, bro. So we sat in the terminal and just ate candy and then got up and left. <laughs> we needed to sober up a little bit. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He was hiding the candy. He was hiding the snacks. Yeah, well, he was bringing it for all of us to eat sure. in the booth, you know, but – so we had a couple. What? I can't remember. What? I've forgotten more things than I can remember these days. It's terrible. Pro tip from an old guy. Whatever th- things you can do to your life to add memory power, do it. Because I forget <laughs> so many things. Small details about everything lately. The stupid lawyer and idiocracy also said, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Idiocracy is one of my all-time favorite movies. I hope they do another one. If we can make that happen. I don't know. I would, I've never seen it. You haven't? No. Put I it on my uh, flight I list. Have a, I have a downloaded copy of it. I'll have to send it to you because it's something that we all need to see. Really? Idiocracy. You haven't seen it. My big kick, I've been uh, Yellowstone, the TV mm. series. That's become my, uh, mm. my flight entertainment. Yep. It's really good. That's the one where they're in the future, robots? No, no? Kevin Costner in Montana. Oh. He owns a big uh, Yellowstone What's the ranch? one where it's like the Old West and they're in the future and everybody's a robot? That's the one I got into that I, oh. I didn't watch anymore. America? I th- like what town? think California. Don't know for sure. I should know. He's I one think of my he's... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Southern California, I think. Corey, I have, but I don't remember. Oh, it's Corey Craig said, yes. you see the Thank credit you. scene in Idiocracy. Thank you, Dark Darth Fabi. Huh? I, I don't remember. I've spent a year, it's been many years since I watched it. But. Thank you, Super Brain. Westworld was good. I watched a bunch of them, but then I think it wasn't on my service or something. Idiocracy is a true story of our future. I still think that we should leave Jensen on the broadcast. I don't know if I've ever, you know, given. No, this pro it would tip. be that would be better than a scrolling information bar. Actually, no, no, no. I, I've requested that, and I've got told I am number one on that. What? Asking for the scrolling information bar across the top of the screen. You're number one. Yeah, I, I've been told I'm number one. Number one, what? Just number oh, one. Oh, you got the number yeah. one. I get number it. Number one, you got it. Now yes. I get it. Exactly. Am I still number one over there, boss? Yes, I am. Well, you know, I know why he doesn't do it. It makes us interact with people, and that's good. That's what they want. They want us to say their name on the Internet. Nothing makes me smile more than when I tune in and I say, Hi, Scotty. And you say, It's Charlie. And I'm sitting and I turn it up on my speaker so that my kid's like, Who's talking to you on the Internet? <laughs> <laughs> do, they, do your kids say it just like that? Just like that, who's talking to you on the internet? Yeah, uh, no, she. Oh, isn't. okay. We she, got a we got a, a somewhat proper looking grid here. They're doing better, not this worse. This is that a little close there, right? What's well, electric? The though, that's why. I think he's going to get t-boned. What is this? Our intermediate electric buggy C main event. Top three going to transfer out of this one. 13, 14, 15, Hen Zeller and Towers transfer drivers into this one. All right, here we go. He almost hit him, but he didn't. Um, that's a good start. That looks so cool, them all. That's a pretty good start. That is. That is not bad. Oh, yeah. I say a round of applause for sure. Alex C. Hello. Oh, mid air contacts are the worst. There's nothing you can even do. Oh, second place with a bobble there. That was Newland, I believe, in the oh all yellow. My. The chat knows the colors better than we do. If you, if I get the colors wrong, you chat in there. It helps us help you. Might be a time for you to start getting glasses, bro. I can see fine. I just don't know anything. Cross the start finish line. There you go. AJ leading the way. Smiley. Adam Curry, a great start from eight. Smiley Hen. The bump Whoa, up 13 to 2. To second? That is outstanding. Bruh. And he's In close. the parking lot. And he's close. Like, he's not like second 30 feet off. He's kind of right there. All right. Oh, There's in front of your screen goes AJ. Here's Smiley. He's in the yellow on yellow with yellow wing. 
I think we should ask him how he did that. How did he get so close? Like he made up the whole grid distance already. I don't know, you know, but thankfully we're bonus lap members. We can go oh, watch can go and watch, and watch the, the RV a little bit later. So one of the benefits of being a bonus lap it, member. What is it, five bucks a month? Five bucks a month. That's, That's the it. best 60 bucks you can spend. Exactly. Well, maybe, well somebody got, so, or, or 50, $50 bucks a year. a year. You get a discount if you That's sign right. up for the year. That's like a 20% savings or more. I do super That's way good too math. much math for me. But, yeah, it's better to do the yearly thing. That's what I do in my lifetime account. I, I, I think for it's my 15. scoring, I buy the whole year, saves you money. I did the same thing with my Ring doorbell subscription. <laughs> <laughs> Everything in the world has a subscription fee, and I'm starting to hate Everything it. now does, yep. This is our... AJ out front, comfortable cushion. Oof. Over Smiley, but then it's Adam, Tony Newland, Drew, Dave, Nathan, Felipe, Trevor, and Matt Walder. Matt, part of the owner proprietor team there at Techno. Good to see him racing again after oh, he told me uh, just a four year hiatus from racing. Martinez now up to third, Newland down to fourth. Order changing there as there was a big cluster at the top of the hill. Got a few guys shuffled around. And then we got Chudy Selvis, Allens, Howard, Eider, Zeller, McDonald, Walter, Lindau, and Towers rounding out our running order. Charlie, remember when you used to have live RC bucks? Yeah. That was, that was so fun. much fun. Except I was always real bad at the bets. Whoever yeah. I picked was like a jinx and they'd lose. We, we need to bring that back. We got to see if we can bring that back for Psycho Nitro Blast. We got, I got to put that, uh, I got to open a ticket for that. Cam, I'm opening the ticket for that. We're going to bring back before your time live RC Bucks. Used to be Cam able to uh, just know. have fun, bet on the racers throughout the course of the event. Well, no, there was prizes in the beginning. Right. And, there even was, at the and end then there. whoever would have the most money at the, like, the end, you'd win a prize, like a uh, free bonus lap membership, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, stuff like that. So it was so much fun. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to open the ticket for that for Psycho Nitro Blast. We've got to bring back live RC box. Uh, I believe we pick up our battle here for third position. That is Martinez Jr. and Tony Newland. Martinez has the transfer now, and Newland would like it. Six minutes into this one. Oh, tries him on the outside. Oh. <laughs> Martinez says, get out of here. Yeah, bait it. I think he got the position, though. We're about to find out. And Martinez yeah, they go across the on the fight line, back. Rocking the all yellow. Oh. Felipe, Trevor, Adam, Tony, AJ out front leading away. Uh-oh, my phone's ringing. I wonder if that's the boss boss man. Oh, no, but yeah, there we go. Dave Lycan from Psycho Nitro Box. He's like, he would be down to donate Sick some action. product. I like that, Dave. S Pro Let's tip, never get that back. That you yeah. received a text during the broadcast because now everyone's going to text you. Everybody text Scotty if you got his number <laughs> no. or send him a Facebook <laughs> message. He loves that stuff. No, Maybe that's a Nick Kendall a friend's request. <laughs> <laughs> that's a Nick big one up for us. Going to uh, White Pine, Tennessee. Cousin Psycho Andy Nitro says Blast. They get Scotty and Charlie and Live RC Bucks. What year is this? <laughs> it's Charlie and Scotty. Hi, Tyrone. Thanks for all your hard work out there, sharing all that hobby wing love. I appreciate it. So, uh, so now we got Curry get a shout up out to the to third Charlie. spot. Well, I get no love, Tyrone. They're, he's uh, a team I'm, driver. He's I'm, doing a little butt kissing. Huh? He's doing a little butt kissing. That's a team oh. driver. <laughs> <laughs> Tyrone's been with us for days. <laughs> I got lots of shout outs from him, so we're all good. Four and a half to go. AJ Schumacher out front leading the way. Smiley, Adam, Felipe, Tony, Trevor, Drew, Daniel, Matt, Ross, Allen. Travis Eider, I learned, I, I get it wrong every year. I always say Eider. Oh. And then uh, Nicole, she corrects me, and it's Eider. That makes and sense, because uh, it's not spelled like eat. It's spelled like either. I, right, it could be. A. I before ye, except after <laughs> everything. <laughs> nice. Cross the line right there. Adam Curry has worked his way to the transfer spot. Got a mirror full of Tony Newland, though. That's not where you want to be. I believe that is the second and third cars on the screen. Maybe not. Red nose, blue tail, I believe is Newland. 
AJ Smiley, Adam, and Tony. See him coming through our interlock section. Make a left, make a big long right. Berm shot out here. Do the roller. Try to keep it between the ruts. Oh, 320 to go. Now there's a name in the chat room. Luigi Stefanisi. <laughs> hey, that just that just kind of that just rolls off the tongue. Ciao. How you doing? So it is Newland in the red, white, and blue. He's got Curry all over the back door in that white and oh. yellow. Curry and tries him on the inside, can't make man, it stick. A... Newland fights back on the outside. They're side by side. That's not where you want to oh, be. Man, and a long way from the marshal. I believe that is the yellow of Martinez that's going to take over that third spot. Newland, Curry, Martinez right here. Now Martinez, Curry, and Newland, the order. Two minutes, 45 seconds left to go. That's still quite a few laps. Martinez ran wide. Curry tried him on the inside, made a little contact there. So now should be Curry to the three spot. Newland should be fourth. Martinez will be fifth. Down the hill they go. No, that was Olin. Sorry, Curlin's Curry off this battle. Adam, unfortunately, falling way back into the transfer spot earlier. Now he has fallen all the way down to eighth. Uh. It was a good race, but... Unfortunately, a bit of contact there on the left side double for Adam. A.J. Schumacher still in control with a comfortable lead of 8.6 second last time by. Smiley Hand and Trevor, your two transfer drivers, moving all the way from the back to the front. Olin's qualified here. It's 13, 14, 15 are the transfers. We stay on board. This is Olin's in the all-yellow very easy to see with the Diglo. Olin's across the line. Last time was a 47. This time was a 49. He's got Martinez just a couple ticks off the back door. Minute 30 to go. AJ in control now. 14 second lead over Smiley and Trevor and Felipe. Top three get the bump up. Now, don't make me a liar, but... I could have swore Martinez was yellow, but we're, we're about to find out. Schumacher's across the line. Hen will be sharply behind him. If one of these two is going to be our nerd, new, <laughs> new third 105 place. 105 to go. One minute. Smiley's across the line. We followed the battle here for three and four. Should be Zeller? Across the line here. It is Trevor. He's got Felipe right behind him here over the big double there. Felipe in the all yellow. Oh, oh. It, I don't know if uh, there was God that. Waiting. It looked like he waited yeah, for a moment. He, he's like, I'll wait if you go right now, but I'm not waiting. Yeah, anymore. no, I, I got to go to see when I see you. Transfer spots. The pit man's like, go, go, go. Oh, they yeah, don't call yeah, penalties. Just go. At him for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Get Shannon. cheered on by the <laughs> Shannon. Thanks for that. I appreciate it. The real reason the people tune into the podcast that I do is for the free RC stuff. What was that? <laughs> He's giving a shout out to the podcast. I like that a lot. If you didn't know, I do a podcast. Oh yeah, it's called RC stuff. You can oh, look yeah. it up on your favorite podcast service. We talk about all sorts of stuff. We got to interview Adam Drake last week. Oh, nice. Martinez Jr. moving up on the last lap. To take the third from Olins. This Got one. him on the last Got lap. Got him there. Felipe following him for the last, ooh, two, two and a half minutes. A.J. Schumacher put his head down at the start, did not look back. Smiley Hen going to double transfer now into the B main. Nice work. Tyrone Robinson, thanks, buddy. No, we didn't get shakies yet. Only it, Jensen got shakies. I'll bring you the empty box tomorrow. You can sniff it. <laughs> <laughs> sniff my box. A. Dot Riara, number 83, Nitro Max with a capital X. Hi there. From Catalonia. Welcome to the show. That's a cool spot. Ricky's back with us. What's up, Ricky? Wow, Ricky listens to your podcast to fall asleep, he says. 
the sultry tones <laughs> of Charlie Swank. It's, it's so entertaining that it puts you right to sleep. I mean, talking about speed control settings can be a little boring at times. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try to lie. The episode we did yesterday is about our new stock motor that Hobby Wing has just. That released. new Hobby Wing stock motor is like doing really well. Especially cr- Matty G's been helping a lot. That's really, uh, really good on you guys. It's created a buzz. That's good. Zach Rogers. What's up, buddy? Wow. I got my wallet. I still Zach, got my you, wallet. You got Zach I finally had to use the backup rubber band. I've had that thing for like 10 years. It comes with wow. two of the elastic bands. I think Zach's out of the wallet business. Though. Yeah, I know. Yeah. He no got more. a real job. He's made his millions and yeah. he's moved yeah. on. Somebody yeah. bought it from him, I'm sure. Like That's what all small businesses do. They sell them off, right? There's a shot of the one of the multiple BMX. things to do here at the uh, fairgrounds. They got BMX Day. You and I could race one of those. No. No. I, I, I'm not good on bicycles. My fitness really shows up. Oh, really? <laughs> I think I, I could beat you on it. I'd do good at like a, just a downhill. Like if no <laughs> pedaling, I can no hold on. No pedaling needed, just. When did you get the haircut, bro? Did you donate the a- lock after for like the. After I got back uh, from either Tulsa or something, I got. I, I got kind of sick, yeah. and I was sitting on the couch, and I sneezed in my hair, and I went in the bathroom, and I cut it all off. I'm like, that's enough of this, dude. Wow. I've been, I only grew my hair out so that I could have long hair before I went bald. My dad was kind of bald on top. My grandpa on my mom's side, like Jean-Luc Picard hair, you know what I mean, like all the way bald. So I just wanted to try long hair out to see if it was, you know, it was all cracked. Kind of work on the comb over yeah, plan? Yeah, I was, no, no, just to have it, to see oh, how okay. flowing locks were and stuff like that. You know, it, was it can terrible. never be a good sign when the race director yeah. extraordinaire Jimmy Babcock we, rolls into the live we, we RC We probably studio. are in trouble. I like, probably you guys definitely did something wrong. I've been and saying it's like too many get things. Get called at a principal office and, yeah. Oh. Oh. There's a yeah, protest. Yeah, a little, there's little protest, officiating yeah. going on. Copy that. Right, that's, the, that's why I only do race announcer. Ooh, I'm not man, a race director. I, exactly. It's up to I, somebody else. I tell I tell everybody, Charlie, you know, I love my job when I run in races yeah, yeah. and doing it. But the thing that has taken the luster away from doing race commenting, not this, TV show stuff, sure. this is the best because we have no stress. You know, yeah, we, it's easy. Yeah, we don't have to worry about right. Marshall. My hands are in my pockets. <laughs> it's so easy. Wow, you, okay. <laughs> Um, where was I? Um, yeah. That's not what uh, I meant. Yeah, so your mind is it, um, yeah, so we have no stress. But then when you're race directing, you have to worry about marshals. Yeah. You got to worry about here, watering skin. Mm-hmm. You got to worry about, you know, officiating. Mm-hmm. And the hard part of our job now is, is the officiating part. You, you know what you don't have to worry about? Live RC being awesome. I mean, live t- – oh, crap. I screwed it all up. Sorry, Scory. I thought oh, I had a good one going yeah, there, buddy. He, he tried to tee it up yep. and oh. just absolutely swing. You know what's awesome? Miss. Or what you don't have to worry. <laughs> it's just getting worse. <laughs> we'll try this again later. Yeah, we'll, we'll try we'll, it again we'll, later. We'll try again later. Yes. Unfortunately, when I go overseas and do races, yeah. we use my RCM, yeah. and it no good compared to live time. You, but you usually have a Euro guy to do it that can read European. Yes, yes, because you know we got our scorekeeper for ETS and EOS. His name's Hartmut, and he's awesome. He Hartmut. knows. He's still Hartmut, still man. Yep, and he I knows the race I covered for you in Austria. Hartmut yes, was Hartmut. There. Yeah, yes, exactly. Awesome. Same, same way. He still he knows my RCM, but the amount of work I watch him do yeah, yeah. in my RCM. To what I have to do or anybody has to do in live time scoring to run a race, it's staggering. I'll put it to you this way. Even I can run a race in live time. Yes, exactly. And that's saying something because I never – Scott used to hire me to do Motorama back when Awesome Track was a thing. And I said, I'll do it, but I'm an announcer. You better have somebody to do the computer because I really have no clue how to do that. It's way too big of a deal for me to be up there pushing the wrong button and making everybody wait 30 minutes for me to figure it out. Because we had no time for that. So, the, uh, Scory was there all year with me every year doing all that. I'm like, I just walk away from the computer. It was great. And then I was at a race somewhere, and I had to help. I'm like, I actually know how to do this crap. And I went in there. I did everything. And word got out that I knew how to use Lifetime. <laughs> I'm like, no, I don't. I got lucky. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely uh, a lot different from IRCM to Lifetime. We're talking about the scoring software we use to run the races. In Europe, it's predominantly used uh, MyRCM. A lot of times they use that because it's in multiple languages. 
and live time is only in English. Oh, well, we got China. the down. Watch for the reach. Who's got the biggest right, who's, reach? Who's going way out there? Odd picks. Who's your pick here? Who's going to throw it out in the middle of the straightaway? Everyone, except the one guy, and he gets you lose a you lose a spot out of the gate. Hmm. Hmm. Fifteen minutes of Sportsman Nitro Truck C Main action about to get underway here at the 2024 Dirt Nitro Challenge. Twenty-five years of the dirt this year. Joey and the beautiful ladies of the dirt once again. What's what's the other guy's name? His right hand man, Aaron, uh, Aaron Webb. Aaron and uh, Daniel, formerly of Proline, also known as DJ Blunts. DJ not, what? <laughs> he was a DJ at OCRC for the Reader Race. Right, yeah. So I'd be like, DJ Blunts? Because I don't know. I watched some movie where there's a DJ, DJ Blunts. Blunts. In it. So I kept calling. He hates it. He like, oh, really? throws things at me when I say that to him. So don't call him that or do it. All right. I just got a text from said Joey. So we got uh, our first raffle prize going down. So oh. everybody get your pen and paper out because you're going to want to write this down or your kids. Just pull up an app. I'm sure you got an app that you can type some information. We got a Venmo address you're going to want to get down to get into this raffle. You got a pretty cool first prize going on. All right, we're off and rolling here. Sportsman Nitro Truck. Off and running here as we got two laps in. Joshua Hanna followed by James, Brandon, Sean, Andrew, Chris. Andrew and Chris, your two transfer drivers from the previous main here up to the top five. That's a good start. Careful with the R word, says Mike. Oh, you can't say that? Oh, that's why everybody says waffle. That's right. How about I say promotion? Giveaway? We could do a giveaway. It's a giveaway. Joshua, Jane, Brandon, Andrew, and JD. Joshua, Hannah, leading away. 53-2, last lap. James May right behind him. Gap last time by 2.4. Brandon. Then Andrew, J.D. It's James, Brandon, Josh, Andrew, and J.D., your top five. James May leading away. Race 12 on the track here, Sports Pro Nitro Truck. May out front leading away. Brandon Anders right behind him. Battle here. One eight sportsman nitro truck. C Main. These guys come to start finish line. Cross the start finish line to purple and white there. James May leading away. Josh Hanna is in second. Brandon Anders right there. These three going here through the six pack. Top three, James, Josh, and Brandon. Oh, we got one upside down right in front of the driver's hand. Nobody saw it. For a second through, going into the pit.
James, Josh, Brandon, Anderson, Travis. You guys got the uh, ambient mic back on, guys? Let me know if you guys can hear it now. May out front. Joshua Hanna second. Andrew, your transfer drive, followed by Brandon and Travis. J.D. Longman from the 10 to the 6. All right, thanks, guys. James May out freight. Josh Hanna followed by Andrew, Brandon, and Travis. Nine minutes to go in this one. James May out front. We expect pit stops here in the next minute. James, Josh, and Andrew, your top three. Stand by for that info we're going to be giving away here. We have uh, a giveaway to come up. We'll talk about it here during the break. James out front, followed by Andrew, Josh, and Brandon. James May, we got seven down, eight to go. James and Andrew quite close here, about three seconds apart. Side-by-side, -side, wheel of wheel contact there. Oh, hmm. Cross the start, finish line. All right, pit lane starting to get busy. Action independent. Oh, he didn't have the gun ready. Not a quick stop there. Pit stops coming in. A two-man job there. What did you say? I love pit stops. Makes it exciting. Very. It, we got a giveaway coming up, Charlie. I saw. I just saw Adam Drake delivering the prize himself. Ooh. I think it's autographed. You just let a little bit of the cat out of the bag. Was I not supposed to say? No, it, it, it's autographed. I was just kind of teasing everybody. <laughs> just. Could be Adam Drake T-shirt. Could be. Could be. Could be something more valuable. Is this another double bump? It is. Andrew has worked his way to the front. Him, Jays, Brandon, Josh. Is this our leader? Six minutes to go. Six to go. I believe it is. Morales was the red, white, and blue last time. I'm starting to remember stuff, folks. You're in trouble. Because <laughs> I think I confidently know things, and then it's not accurate at all. And you're out front. Pit stops are complete. Cross the line. Following James May taking over the lead. Pit stops all second through. Andrew second. Brandon in third. Rough go there through the doubles. That guy's injured. Or he just likes skipping. Oh. <laughs> James Sean May Andrew. Sean is an excellent race announcer as well. Sexy leg? Oh, yeah, really yeah. good. 
I worked a couple races with him doing that uh, the hydrogen series that I worked with, the school that put on the the Grand Prix, and he worked the first year with me. Got the kids all in a real friendly mood about their terrible driving, so that was nice. May Ann Morales at the front of this one. Hannah running third. Espina or Aspen, Anders, Reyes, Gonzalez, Friedenrich. Cam, you have a message. Encinas, Lopez, Longman, Connors, Nguyen, Kopik, and Roberts are running order thus far. Looks like Roberts is off the track, though. James, May, Andrew, Josh, and Travis. Your top four, only three get the bump. Who's it going to be? We got 4.15 left to go. This is our leader, May. Ooh, getting a little wrong there going up the hill, but he's okay now. Coming across the start finish line here, the yellow and blue. Andrew Morales, your transfer driver, back to the point. Big air there over to double nicely. All right, so Morales not in the red, white, and blue. <laughs> I'm learning stuff. A so race leader coming here through the doubles. Goes to the berm shop. Rop. Clean up the hill. Nicely done. A little wheelie there through the bump. Goes to the high side. More berm shots. Way berm shot. All the way into the lane. Morales, May, Hannah, top three. Hannah right now, comfortable lead over Travis. From the 15th goes Travis to the 4. He's about 12 seconds back. Across the start finish line here. Yellow and blue of Morales leading away. Man, almost a wrecker as he comes up on some lap traffic. Ooh. Donkey flips it. Going through the six-pack. Lap traffic jumped off the track to get out of the get way. Get out of the way, exactly. Nice. Just move it, beat it. Shout out Rob Graham there. Checking in from Canada. Oh, comes up short, finds the marshal. We stay on board here with Morales, the yellow nose. Whoa, where are you going, bud? Oh, servo. The servo stopped working. Oh, no. That was our race leader. That was Andrew. Came around, oh. and something stopped working in the front end. Two so minutes to go. Tragic. It's going to move Hannah and May up a spot as we jump on board. I believe this is May with the yellow wheels. And looks like Josh, Aspen James, now. Travis now. Travis doing his hot lap of the race right there, lap 15. Into that transfer, Raymond Gonzalez now goes six seconds behind the transfer with a minute 30 to go. <laughs> I'm telling you, we need Jensen on the broadcast. There's sometimes that needs to be on the broadcast, right? <laughs> We need to have a button that we can activate yeah, right. our producer. Turn him on. When he doesn't know, yes. Right. He's talking in our ears, and sometimes it's it's some priceless Not only do you get an engine, but you get uh, mushroom spawns that you can grow your own Adam Drake's, I think is what he was saying. 45 seconds to go in this one. Josh, James, Travis, Raymond. So Aspen here with a chance for a double transfer. He's sitting third right now, started dead last in this one, finds himself running third. Travis Aspen looking to work his way into the B main here in Sportsman Nitro. More racing action still ahead. We got Hannah across the line. May got hung up there. He's due at the line. There he is. Aspen in a battle with Gonzalez now. 
Aspen coming towards the line now here. He's probably trying to wait till time expires so he doesn't have to do the extra one. There it is. He's going to. Aspen. Going to. Oh, uh, I spoke oh, too soon. Oh, oh, I spoke oh, too he's soon. To the line. You see him coming down the hill. Oh. Oh, my. So close. Where's their finish time? Don't have it. They came across the line together. Aspen and Gonzalez down to the wire there. We didn't get to see it, but the times were extremely close. Give some more shout outs here. Uh, hello to everybody uh, watching on Live RC directly. Wild Child, we do hear you. Um, the Guy to my left, the one and only, Charlie Swanka. What's up? The best. Mr. Hobbywing himself. Mm-hmm. Yep. You can go on YouTube. Nerd is the new cool, right? Totally. Totally the new cool. What's the name of your... Uh, Hobbywing Official is the name of the YouTube channel, and we also do a podcast where we give away a free Hobbywing combo every episode. It's called RC Stuff. Powered by Hobby Wing. There Look it up go. on your favorite podcast service. Speaking about giveaway. Yes, we have a giveaway of we, our own. We got a giveaway, ladies and gentlemen. Tell them. I prefaced it by telling you folks to get your uh, pen and paper out or your phone or everything. But uh, drum roll, please. Scotty's very excited about his drum roll. No one else here reacted. And I was waiting for the yeah. producer to throw it up. I was running out of... Yeah, so there you go. You get a signed OS Speed B21 Adam Drake Edition tray. $20 entry. You can Venmo. Just take a picture of it right there. Well, bam. And that is available. Let's find all the specifics here. It's uh, $20 for the entry. That'll be given away tomorrow before or during the pro a mains so an awesome opportunity you know my problem charlie mm -hmm. i'm old and i don't have venmo you can get it i know i gotta get it like but then you got you got to open up account and do the bank transfer the whole thing like you just that just assign it to a credit card and ah, it just okay. pulls out of your credit card oh really yeah all right got or that or a debit card i know you don't like credit cards oh i i do everything yeah well that's right for the miles and for my business to track mm -hmm. everything. So there is Adam Drake, the one and only. He's been working out. He looks fit. ronan has got him on, you know, he got him on a diet and, yeah, getting his fitness in. You want to hear some history on Adam Drake? Last week's episode of RC Stuff, we sat down and talked with him for half an hour, and he tells us about all sorts of stuff. It's pretty cool. Yeah, he's a good, uh, yeah. good chat for yeah. sure. One of, the, one of the legends of our hobby. For sure. He ben. started out as a racer and moved to Southern California from Michigan to start his career. Yep. And the way that he said it is, I took the job that no one wanted. Because at the time, electric was all everybody wanted to do. Nitro was just kind of starting getting good. And so he became part of the Nitro program. Not by, ch not really by choice, but it turned out to be you know his claim to fame, so to speak. So yeah, Absolutely. Out. And in the uh, Nitro truck era, man, he was... Yeah. Yeah, he was the man. Robbie Serrato. Robbie, oh, yeah. Nitro. Hi, Robbie. Yes. Robbie raced when he was a little kid back in my day. Him and his dad would come out, and he was, like, shorter than I was. Now his kid's taller than me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a whole line of jokes I go there, but he's, I ain't going to do it. I think his kid's, like, seven or ten years. Not that old, but he's already taller than I am. <laughs> Good to have you join us, Robbie. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. Aaron Kaufman joining the show, the 2023 International Indoor Off-Road Carpet Championship winner. He's the champ. He's the champ. Hey, speaking of that, who's the champ? Who's going to win that uh, Tyson fight? Is Tyson going to whoop that dude, that Paul guy? <laughs> I sure hope we were, so. We were talking about this the other day, and all this guy does is fight old dudes. Oh, so, right. Yeah, but I, I think it's all a money grab. But that's oh, it fine. is. That I'll guy's just a he, – he seems like a tool. I don't enter, follow enter, him or watch him. He seems like a tool, but – I'm not a sports ball fan or, you know, I don't I don't follow all that stuff myself very much. But I just hope Tyson knocks him out. 
It, they are and I hope it's not a here. gimmick thing. I'm sure it is. You know. How are you going to fight a senior citizen? Yeah, but you see Tyson? Yeah, that's true. Dude, he is just. Hmm. I've watched some documentaries recently about him and, you know, all the demons he's had in his life and everything. But he said, uh, what was he said? When he was in the locker room, like warming up for a fight and walking to the ring, he was scared. But the closer he got to the ring, mm. the less scared he got. And right. once he walked in the ring, he said, I am God. There's nobody going to beat me. And he just proceeded to rip guys' heads off. Right. Or bite them in the ear. Or bite them in the ear, yes. In his later years, yes. And now him and Holyfield are best friends. All right, let's see. What, what's the over and under? Are we going to go 10 feet off from the pipe? That guy's got both feet Oh, yeah, the, he's oh, like, he's yeah, taking steps. He's, yeah, he's going. Look at they're just They're just farther and farther out. Oh, yeah, that's the farther. And then he gets the guy from behind just gone. So odd photos, we're with you. We ain't saying it right, it's just happening. Do we need to be present? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, they will have your information, so <laughs> you don't need to be watching online when it happens. Oh, you do? Yeah, you have to watch online. You don't just have to be here, that's all. You don't have to be here. Yeah, no, you got to be watching present online. Means. you got to be in the show. I got it. Duh. We got intermediate truck. That kind of wasn't such a good start. I guess I will give it a C plus. Yeah, maybe, maybe C plus. Oh, that's still a good shot. It looks like they're going to make contact. Still checking in on lap number one. So far, though, Dian, was it Dina? Dina? Dina Eichenberger, all the way up to 7th from 13th on the grid, one of the transfer drivers. Oof. <laughs> Tyrone cheering on. Chris from TNR Fuels. Oof. Ooh. A little contact there in the back. I think it was the hole. Oh, that's too Marshall close. Scrambling. Too close. Too close to they the They cross the line right now. Colin Nixon moving the lead. There's Chris Nelson up to the two. Chris going big. Either Does Nixon have a huge lead? In no. Front of these he's guys? right there. Okay. Right in front of Chris. This is them coming down. Oh, Chris to the inside. Oh, that was a nice pass there. Then slam the door in his face. That was nice. Oh. Nice. Over the top. Nope. The, the jump block. That was sick. And Good patience chicane. by Nelson. A little switchbacks all the way out to the wall. Yes, we do have two announcers. My tag team partner, Charlie Swank, I'm making a trip down. He knew I was getting lonely, so he wanted to come spend quality time with me. They have to pay me to spend time with this guy, folks. I didn't do this for Yeah, free. it's not voluntary for sure. <laughs> Side by side, they go. These guys duking it out here in the front. Nelson and Nixon, Nixon and Nelson. Who's this going to be? I think Nixon has it now. Nelson wants it back. Is it like a rental wife or rent a girlfriend? There's an X amount of time. You know, right. you know I'll you do get, this, but only for. You guys get me for 48 hours. That's, and that's it. it. <laughs> then I have to go back to the life of customer service. Nelson to the point. They're Ooh. back and forth side by side. Sizing them up, just waiting patiently. These guys know they don't want to battle. They want to keep stretching out this lead. You got Thacker in the third spot, Lobos in fourth, and Allens after that. Cross the line right now. Nelson leading away. Colin in second. Paul Thacker is third. Paul's been running really well in his mains today. Way to the high side there at the 180. Maybe that inside line kind of deteriorated enough that they're not even trying it anymore. No, they, they, they went wide, both of them. Trying to get a good enough run up. It's one of those deals you want to follow the car in front of you because he didn't flip right there. Yeah. So I'll just go where he went. Yeah, he made it through there, so I'll do that. Look at that roost. So sick. I think they should get an extra lap every time they do a roost line. Brop. 
Nelson starting to gap it just a little bit here as Nixon kind of backing it down a notch, making sure that he hits his marks. Still got 11 minutes to go in this one. Coming up on pit stops here in probably another minute or two. Nelson, Nixon, Thacker, Lobos, Thompson, your top five. Nelson looking pretty smooth right now. I feel like he's coming to a rhythm. He's found all the spots he wants to drive. Very consistent these last couple laps. A little inside move there. Looks good going up the hill. Goes around the big hole that's in that center area. Comes down the area to the switchbacks. A little berm shot there, but not quite. Safely over the roller into the double. Hits that downside nicely. Smooth and in control considering the... Oh, Jinx. Catching a rut. Luckily, rubber to the dirt. Barely slowed him down. Last lap was a 46. This one was a 48. Drop back down to Mr. Colin Nixon in that two spot. And as we say that, does a little power wheelie into the doubles there. And no bueno. Still holding on, though. Thacker's a couple corners back yet. Thacker looks to be about eight seconds off our leader. Up and over he goes. Nixon trying to find some flow here. Wants to keep that gap. So Thacker has to deal with the challengers. You see Thompson not far off the back of Thacker now. Second spot. Colin Nixon through that backside section. Ooh, almost looking up a pipe there, but able to keep it together. 3.5 was the gap last time by. Nelson and Nixon, this time 4.9. So Chris stretching out a little bit at the six minute mark. Seven. Oh! Uh oh. That car was just dead in front of him. No, I don't think that was Nelson. Maybe it was. I don't see Nelson off the front anymore. It was our race leader. So it looks like a gift from the gods as Nixon now should take over the top spot. Nelson's probably going to drop way down the ladder. Way down. He had made the lap, did a 47, but that was him getting carried off the track there. Looked like it flamed out. Perhaps a fuel mileage situation. I don't think we've seen any pit stops yet, so could have been a little miscue there. Thacker maybe in the pits right now. Thacker and Thompson now up a spot. Nelson dropping out of the transfer. Colin Nixon, our new race leader. Here in the C-Main of Intermediate 18th Nitro Truck. Here at the 2024 Dirt Nitro Challenge. 25 years of the dirt. Found their new home here at the Paris Fairgrounds in Paris, California. Quite the facility. Eight minutes to go. We expect pit stops here over the course of the next lap. Does look here like comes our leader getting a little bit sideways. Should be coming into the pits this lap. Nope. Whatever happened to Nelson, they didn't fix it. He's still in the pits, unfortunately. Tough luck for Chris. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Leader getting it wrong in the doubles. Tries to give it the gas to get her to right the ship, but no luck that time. I think that dropped him down behind Thacker. Pit stop's coming in. Oh, don't grab it on his side. Ouch. Oh, squeeze bottle. Oh, fuel just pouring out. It's fine. All right. Expect our leaders in. Up on the blocks. Oh, that was kind of a factory stop there. Mm -hmm. That was pretty quick. See how we got here. Up, down. He likes it. The the pull back and throw, though, that's, right. you know. Just shove it. Just, just put it down. Yeah, it brings us back to our on-track action as we pick up, I believe, our leader, Cody Thompson, after all that. Started 11th, finds himself at the front ahead of Thacker and Nixon. I believe this is actually our lead battle. Thacker going over the top. Although that could be... 
Cody out front, Paul. As the first and only round of pit stop cycles through. Thompson due at the line, not there yet. See everybody on these outlaps a little bit slower. Thompson across the line. Here comes Thacker and Nixon. Trevor Owens. Oh, check that. Owens now to the two. Then Colin and Paul. Into the six pack. There's three cars. That is two, three, and four. Nixon in the all white. Thacker just behind him. Five twenty left to go on this one. Still quite a bit of time for things to unfold. You see Tim B, 12, 13, for no, Tim B not one of the transfer drivers, but Richard Smith, our highest running transfer driver right now, sitting in that eighth spot, still on the lead lap, just barely. It's Cody across the line. His lead right now, second spot, Trevor. Here's Colin. Colin in that third. Paul Thacker dropping to the four spot. So this is the battle, Colin and Paul. Thacker definitely staying in five contact. Left to go in this one. Cody, Trevor, Colin, Paul, your top four, only three. Get to bump. Ooh, Thacker closing in on the back of Nixon now. Paul wants that bump up. Thacker started fifth on the grid. Would love to take home a third and another main. The B main's the real one. You could transfer well, to the true, A Well, true, yes. But to but work your way into it, a, even cooler. A right. Here comes Tim B, though, now all the way up to the fifth spot. Just turned in his hot lap, so he's starting to feel the flow right now. Ooh, as I say that, Thacker gets it wrong on that far side. Going to drop him way down. Benoit checking in from France. Welcome to the show. Good to have you here. They said Cody, uh, Cody's the one that got hit in the head yesterday. In the head? Oh, yeah, got hit in the melon like right here, right above the, the eyebrow. How do you not see that coming? Obviously, he didn't to the last minute. <laughs> that sucks. And then uh, Did you get after, it on after he got his wits about him, they started to go to the uh, urgent care, mm. and they decided, to, yeah, I'm, I'm good. Let's go to IHOP. <laughs> they had to go have a Rudy Tootie, I guess. <laughs> Tim B now getting by Thacker, so he's one spot closer, but Nixon has been on a good one these last couple minutes. Hasn't made too many mistakes. Trevor found his way by. Trevor to the point here with three minutes to go. This is our battle at the front. You guys trying not to take each other out. Sure thing, Benoit. Thanks for joining us. Hope you're having a wonderful Saturday. It's got to be early after, early evening there in France. Are there coneheads in France? He is from France. Cody, Colin, Trevor. Ah, thanks, Eric. Tim B now up to the transfer spot. He got his Trevor dropping. Trevor, Trevor was, was your leader. Sorry, Charlie. He is dropping uh, like a rock. Oh. oh, no. I'm assuming he's out. Oh. oh, man. Terrible luck there for Trevor. So from 11th, we got Thompson in the front. 7th place, Nixon. And from 12th on the grid, Tim B. There's no cars in that shot. <laughs> Thompson, Nixon, and B, our top three right now. Thompson across the line. Here comes Nixon. Here comes Tim B. Oh, that was some lap traffic with him. <laughs> one minute, 30 seconds left to go on this one. A short 90 seconds remaining in this 15-minute battle. Sorry about that. Cody out front. Tim and Paul. Paul uh, dropped way back now. Ten seconds back. Oh. Tough break there for the red, white, and blue. I don't know who that was. 
We're about to find out. I think it may have been Thacker. Cody, you're a leader. Colin right behind him. Tim B now still trying to hold on to that third spot. We're waiting for him to cross the line. There he goes. Bit of a rough lap, but still in that third spot. Thacker and Lobos here. Cody and Colin having a battle for the lead with 30 seconds to go. It's not the time you want to be battling in a transfer race. Top three. Get the transfer. <laughs> Big bobble there at the top of the oh, hill. Oh, a little bit sideways. Able to save it, but just barely. Oh, no. It just came to a stop. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Cody with the lead. Cross the line there. Colin. With traffic, Colin has lost a little contact with the leader. Time has expired. We are racing to the line. Top three are across the line. It looks like Thacker ran out of time. He's going to get caught. Ah, tough Top luck for Paul. Secured. He was right there, though. Yep. He had a rough lap in the middle of it. And I think that threw him way back. That 52 and the 56 right there took him out of contention. But there was a big crash, and I think he was a part of it. <clears throat> Cody, Colin, and Tim looking to get the bump. They're racing to the finish line. Wait for Timmy B. And there we go, Cody, Colin, and Tim. Good run for them there in the C-Man Intermediate Nitro truck. Throwing a little bit of water down. Eric said he had a surprise for us, Charlie. Ooh. Eric's surprises I like surprises. are excellent. Cam, Cam, looks, Cam looks excited about this. Cam always looks excited, though. He's kind of weird. I wonder if it's something to do with scrolling information bar. I doubt it. Oh, I man. <laughs> Hopefully it's that picture from the world when you fell asleep in the hotel room in your tidy whities Oh, yeah, Remember great. That yeah, that's always a good one. Boomer was so excited for oh, that Oh, yeah. One. Or me on the Jumbotron at Yatabi. Yes. Uh, eating a banana. Yes. Oh, yes, exactly. Yes. yes. All right. We're waiting with bated breath here, Eric. Baited What's something. this? Uh, here we go. <laughs> oh, my goodness. 2014. Which one was that? Where were we? 2014. That's when we were doing uh, the uh, Argentina. Oh, that's in the basement. Yeah, the, in the studio. We can't, that you're we, not allowed to say Argentina out loud, remember? We're not? No, remember Argentina was so bad. Oh, we had yeah. all the problems with all the things. Right, we were, holy cow. We banned. So that's the last Look time. Look how homeless my haircut is. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I didn't have hair back then either. No. 2004? Uh, two, 2004. Four? At the Snowbirds. Oh, my ah. goodness. <laughs> look, it's Fernando in the back. Yeah, Fernando Gardino, Todd Hodge. You look I'm wasted, I'm setting down dudes. Timmy. <laughs> that's uh, Timmy Heiser's car. Ah. Uh, Timmy, uh, young Timmy Heiser. Holy cow. You know what's bad? I still got that sweatshirt. I'm sure you do. <laughs> I'm sure you do. <laughs> I have it up north at our up north property. That's my, uh, yeah, out working if it's cold right. in fall. I'll be damned, yeah. <laughs> Pulling from the archives. Wow. That is a uh, yeah, like long 20, time. 20 years and 20 pounds ago for me. <laughs> yeah. Probably more than that. Ah, good times. RC's been part of my life and your life our whole lives. Yeah. You came up trackside, what, you were like 12 with your dad? Something like that. Yeah. We had been racing for a little while before we, fr we learned of trackside, and then we started racing up there on a pretty regular basis. It was only an hour from the house, and it was like the closest place to race. Yeah, for the we most had an part. indoor carpet track. Yeah. Charlie came up with his uh, box stock TA02 painted red and black. They had a, a TCS remember. race, the first year of Correct, TCS. Correct, TCS race. And if you guys have ever had a Tamiya body, they were the first ones to have plastic on the outside. And he started racing his with the plastic on the outside. And raced it with it. Didn't I, pull a plastic. I, out. I did the car. My dad did the bodies back then. That yep. was when I started working on cars. And but he did, uh, he wanted to do the painting. So I was like, fine. I don't want to paint. 
It was red and black. I remember it. For he sure. spent so long putting the decals on that body. We go out and run it a couple laps, and they like the the protective coating was still on the body. With exactly. All the he forgot over to take it. the plastic off. He the didn't outside. know it existed. Huh. All right, we're going to take a short pause for the cause. We're going to be right back here as Pro Nitro Truck is up next here on LiveRC.com. This Thursday night on Speed Sport 1, it's the 2023 RC Racing at Visions off-road event from Jay, Oklahoma. The best RC racers in the world come together to showcase their talents for $30,000. These cards are not toys, and the competitors are not playing around. Check it out this Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. Go to SpeedSport1.com, download the app, or simply watch it on Sling Free Stream. This is Speed Sport 1, the live racing network. All right, we're back here. So that's a little preview of the show that's going to happen next week on the 21st. Make sure you check it out. It's going to be on Speed Sport 1. You can get the app for free, Speed Sport and the number one. So we got a little Pro C Main coming up. Give a chance to check out everybody. Say hey. In the chat room, Benny G, how are you? He's, Benny says, who's that little Asian guy? It's me. Charlie. It's uh, a me, a Charlie. <laughs> That's a better one. I got such a disapproving look from Davis on that one. It's fine. Screw that guy. <laughs> Davis, you should know that I will make up all the things about the staff that doesn't get on camera or be able to fight back. So it's fine. Get used to it. You give, uh, Are you on Facebook, Davis? What's your last name? So look up Davis Wolkovitz and send him a fr friend's friend request, request right exactly, now. Yes. And uh, he'll Very be sure good. to reply to that? that quickly. Yeah. We, we should have asked him how to spell it first. You should have, yes. I'm sorry. Should have said, hey, how do you spell that? Type it in your phone so you're like, you get yeah, digits. Yeah, right. Exactly. Torian Mitchell. That's a name I haven't said in a long time. Welcome back. Xtech 101. Hello. David Crabtree. Good to have you with us. Chris Conrad. Welcome back. A Riera. Everybody KRD. taking their picks. It looks like Drake is the most popular pick so far. He's got to use his old man strength. Cole Ogden in the C main. Not normal. Uh, here we go. Pretty good start. That's a decent start here. That looks like a pro truck start there. Everybody's going. Nobody's going backwards. There hasn't been a collection of cars running into cars yet. Pretty good start. So are transfer drivers in this one, or is there just the C main and pro truck? I feel like there wasn't a pro truck D main, was there? Or there was only four or five in that one, that's right. That's right, Parenti, Kirkman, and Brown were our transfer drivers. Right. It's all coming back to me now. I was just going to let you roll with it. Yeah. It's 14 races, I already forgot what happened in race 13, so that's fine. All right, going to complete lap number one across the line. There you go, Fenster with a good start. Robinson, Olsen, Ogden up two. Drake up three. Harris from the 11 to the six. Followed by Joey, Austin, Tyler, Daniel, Sean, Jaden, Ivan, Walker, and Carlos Arredondo having a tough start. So tough he hasn't even scored yet. Pack bunching up here. Looks like Fenster went to the high side. Lost a few spots, but maybe getting back in the mix now. Bit of contact there, doing nobody any favors. Drake gets around that upside-down truck. Going to move himself into the third spot. 20 minutes. This is just a long one. Yeah, Got a couple pit stops happening in this one. Or for Adam, just one. I was just, or maybe Adam's not going to stop. He'll just show us 20 right, minutes. Yeah, exactly. He'll just pedal it, you know, for 20 minutes. He's amazing when he does I don't know that. if you can idle one of these things for 20 minutes. I don't know. If anybody would know, it would be Adam. Drake running third right now. Got a mirror full of Cole Ogden. I used uh, I used Adam's engine break-ins. Because uh -huh. when I started running Nitro, I tried to break it in like I used to. You know sure. what I mean? But on-road Nitro engines are another level of expense. You know, right. it's crazy. And the first year, I, I had no luck with engines. Yeah. So finally, I just, I, Adam, sending my engines, do your thing on them. It's never been better. Yeah. Oh, bobble there by Drake over the big double. Looks oh. like that's going to get Ogden by. That my other fault. marshal was like, that's not my problem. You get it, sir. Sorry, Adam. My fault. 
Top three stretching out just a little bit. No, check that. Battle in the third spot between Ogden and Harris. Harris and Ogden. I think Ogden is in the yellow and white. Coming down the hill. That is the battle for the transfer. These guys, a lot on the line here. You make it to the B, you got a shot at the final. Ooh, that was nice. Barely sneaking away with that inside line. That has Whoa. been a very risky spot. Absolutely. A lot of guys have tried it, but he pulled it off. That was noise. Ogden able to hold on, jump into the high side there. Oh, over the top to the inside. How was there even room there? I think that was Fenster. Yeah, Fenster and Ogden now nose to tail. Harris Ogden right would there. like a cushion. He would like to be in second, not third. Ogden with some good rhythm there through the doubles. Side by side. Always risky when the track is in the condition that it is. You could cook a rut, get a little bit wrong, but you see they've been keeping the moisture on it. I think that's helped it stay a little more consistent. I was expecting a lot more deterioration than we've seen so far, and it's been about the same as we started this morning, and more so the drivers are starting to find all the hot spots and work their way around them, so consistency's gone up quite a bit. Fenster, and now that's Arredondo in the third spot with him. My apologies, the purple and white. Nope, I was wrong again. I have no idea. Jermaine Robinson started two in this one. Ogden, deep six, started six in the C, qualifying not his forte this weekend. This is... I want to say this is the battle for the third right here. It's a gaggle of buggies all lining up to do it out. Trying to one. save it on that stoppy. Oof. Oh, contact yeah. there, and he's just ripping it. Whoa! So we could hear it all the way here in the live RC studio. Marshall trying to get there. I always thought that you're not supposed to rev it up when it's upside down. But. You're not technically, yeah, because, I mean, you can obviously run out of fuel, the little fuel you got in a fuel line, right. but I guess uh, trying to get their attention. Rah! All right, Jermaine, Cole Ogden. Look Still at Parente. There. Parente from 13th to 4th now looking for a double transfer. That would be awesome in the pro division to be able to do a double transfer. I mean, you're on your game for sure. There's something to be said for lower main day. You get some track time, you make some changes, you can really bring your rig around and maybe have the advantage to knowing where the bigger holes are and make some good choices as you're coming through traffic. There's no doubt about it. It definitely helps. Yes, you have... Uh, a big ladder to climb going through traffic and stuff like that. Putting, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40 minutes on your vehicles and on your Whoa. diffs, and there's no time to rebuild them. But, as you said, it does have some advantages for sure. As we watch these guys go nose to tail across the start finish line. That's Tyler, Daniel, Joey right behind him, Harris. They're trying to reel in Jermaine and Cole Ogden. Parente driving very smart on the backside. Fenster made a bit of a bobble going up the hill, and... Uh, Parente just kind of tapped the brake so he didn't get in the back of him, lived to fight another day. Could have tried to keep the pressure on, but said, hey, we'll wait until a safe section of the track. There go, looking nice and smooth through there. Six minutes down with 14 left to go. We stick with the battle here for our transfer spot. That is Fenster and Parente. Now a three-car battle for the transfer as Burdon has made his presence felt. Fenster, Parente, and Bordon across the line. Charlie, as we've been watching the battle for third here, Cole Ogden, you see him in the top of your screen going in and out of frame. He has worked into the front now with Jermaine Robinson second, and then the battle here, Tyler, Daniel, Jory, Joey, and Austin all battling for that third and final transfer spot. Parente and Fenster made a little bit of contact, dropped him down. That allowed Bardon to get into the mix here. So Bardon now with a gift from the RC Gods moves up to that third position in front of Fenster and Parente. He probably was volunteer marshalling, it's I'm guessing. It's very likely. Inside move to flat, nicely done, able to get back on the throttle. You see a check swinging coming down the hill, keeps the wheels pointed in the right direction. Pit down stop's going to be happening. Sorry, Charlie, pit stop's happening this lap. Here we go. Coming Bardon, in here. Fenster and Parente all in together. Oh, that's some factory pit stops right there. Passed him in the pit lane. Frente, or I think that was Fenster getting back by. Twelve minutes and forty-five seconds left to go. So probably two pit, pit stop schedule here because none of these guys are going no twelve. Oh, minutes. this is going to be a good all oh, fresh tank of fuel down and away. That noise, thirsty. It is. 
Took a whole lot of fuel. But he might have had a gun filled up all the way, you know. We're going to let this pit stop cycle, and then we will get you our official running order. But thus far, it looks like Ogden's still out there. Hasn't pitted yet? He has not. He is on a 44 that time by. Robinson on a 44. Also has not pitted yet. Parente, we saw him come in. He came out on a 45, so maybe that was not Parente in the pitch. Check that. It wasn't. Blair up to fourth. Bordon to fifth. Spinrad to sixth. Drake up to seventh. Drake may be trying. Oh, there goes Drake out of the pits at the 12 to go mark. So Ogden Robinson and Parente looks to be our current leaders. I don't think Parente has stopped yet. I'm looking down the lap time sheet here. And are the new ones on the right or the left? They're on the right. So it looks like Ogden with a bit of a rough one there. Could have been his pit lap. He did a 50.1. Bourdon up a spot, and Parente just came out of the pits. He did a 50.3. So those were stops. I'm a little disappointed Adam's not doing, you know, like a one-stop race. I was hoping, you know, that he was he's sitting <laughs> back in that fifth spot, and then all of a sudden, well, bam, you know, right. he's up there. Ten minutes seems doable, but he, he's done it so many times. Right. I remember in one race he did 12. And I don't remember where it was. Maybe it was at Thunder Alley a while ago. I just remember him doing 12 minutes, and I'm, I'm just, my mind is boggled how. Problem here, maybe for Robinson. Uh oh, Jermaine dropping to the four spot. 55 second lap. Maybe a pit stop, maybe a crash, but that's going to let Parente be in that double transfer position one more time. And just like that, Ogden here, 12 laps in, does the hot lap of the race. As he's leading away. We pick up this battle here through the interlock. Uh, I believe this is Robinson. Maybe Parente at the front there. Well, we're about to find out. Here they come. Yeah. Parente, Robinson, and Blair all together fighting over that transfer spot. Only top three. These guys got a long way to go here. They fight. Oh, Tries. trying to go over the top. What a terrible move. So that's going to let, I want to say that's going to be Blair now by both of them. Trying to use them for traction over the top. Right. We call that the Malachi Crunch at the Peacock Pit when you land wow, on somebody's Wow, Malachi roof. Crunch. There's the throwback. All right, what's that from, everybody? Throbbing brain, the Malachi Crunch. What's that from? I don't even know. My buddy says it all the time. Oh, really? Oh, that's way old school. I'm all over that. And I know it has something, it has some relation to me in a long version, a long shot way. So it's it's super lame like you? <laughs> kind of. Austin Blair into that transfer spot after a gift from Parente and Robinson getting together in the doubles. They made some contact as I want to say it was Robinson trying to put the move on Parente. Landed Og on the roof and both of them dropping down now. Ogden in control. The throbbing brain knows all. It's from Happy Days. Oh. And Happy Days was based in what city? Milwaukee. There you go. See how that all seven seconds of separation. I thought the you whole were going to say because you're cool like the Fonz. Oh, hey. hey. So we stick with Blair and Parente. This is the battle for the fourth and final, or the third position in our final transfer. They both looking good right now in the 43s and 44s, nice and consistent. They seem to have found their flow. Both of them on that inside line or on the far side 180. Oh, oh. as I say that, Blair hooks up a pipe, drops down a spot, and gives Parente a short amount of breathing room. Parente from 13th on the grid. Transferred to this race out of the D-Main. Berm shot Good there. battle. Transfer. Top three get to go. Up to the B-Main. You mentioned that earlier. You know, getting up to the B. That's the, the goal here when you're playing the alphabet game. This Cole, Joey, Daniel, Austin, Jermaine, and Tyler. 
We stick with the battle here with Blair and Robinson. Oh, bit of contact there. He's just going to keep going. It's fine. I believe that was a takeout. My, when we race on the backyard track, my buddy, will, he'll, you'll run into the back of somebody's car, and it's not you automatically say, why are you going so slow in that corner? It's not me <laughs> running into you. It's no, you no. going very slow. <laughs> it's Ogden out front. Joey in second. Daniel third. Austin hanging with Daniel. See what happens to Blair here. Seven minutes still to go. Pit stops do. There's Jermaine Robinson at four spot. Austin drops to the five. So Daniel now with a 4.6 second lead. Robinson working down that far side hill. Now up and over roller one, roller two, and here comes the big double that lands in a pit. Little berm shot there. Crew, nice line as he hits the downside behind the pipe. That's a tricky one. That was. That was well done. Last time by for Robinson, a 45-4. He's on a heater right now. They're usually down in 44. Some of them touch the 43s now and again. Cole, Daniel, Joey, Jermaine. Robinson checks in on his hot lap, a 43-7. Fortunately, Adam Drake having some problems here a lap or so ago. Had a 1 minute 18. I'm hoping it was a missed lap. That they, oh, Marshall's on that one as they roll it over. Cole Ogden out front, three and a half second lead for him. Ah, that was Drake. Believe Parente now up to two. Board down to the three spot. Parente now to the top. Ogden down to third. Ogden comes out on a 49. So maybe that was the pit stop lap for Ogden. Five minutes, 20 seconds left to go in this one. Parente from 13th now finds himself at the front. Based on the last several lap times, he is due into the pits any time now. Parente, Bordon, Ogden, and Robinson. Robinson still knocking on the door there, trying to stay close enough to capitalize. From the high side there. Parente last time by. 44-6. He's got a fast lap of a 43-5, just two laps ago. See what Ooh. they got across the line this time by. Bordon Daniel staying and, out there. Daniel and Cole late to the line. Daniel. Going 51 for that lap. Ogden uh -oh. falls to the four uh -oh. spot, to the uh -oh. five spot. What happened to Cole Ogden, your leader? Cole dropping like a brick here down in the eight spot. Oh, we got a report from Pitt Lane that Ogden is broke. Oh, my. What happened? We don't know. Would we will find out. Almost four second lead in the C main. Cole is falling down the order all the way to 12. Ah, uh, terrible luck. Parente. I believe in and out of the pit, so he drops down one spot, but Blair now up to third. Joey Bornan going to take it to the lead. Tough luck for Cole. One of the few HB drivers here after the big team shakeup this this year. A lot of drivers uh, leaving HB and uh, going to different teams. Cole staying with HB. Battle between Fenster and Blair starting to heat up for that third spot. Looks like Fenster on a mission. Just turned in his fast lap to close up on Blair. A couple tenths off the back. Three minutes, 35 seconds left to go in this one. Joey's got a 6.6 .6 second lead over Daniel over Austin. Fenster just doing his hot lap, that last lap, 43. All hot lap of the race was a 42.7 from Carlos Arredondo. Pick up our race leader, Bordon. Working with some lap traffic here, hoping for some easy passes. Nice and smooth there through the doubles. Gets a little sideways in the air, but not too bad. Lap traffic getting way out in the fluff there. Getting some Whoa. room. Smooth. Gets it wrong in front of him. Check swing. Bordon looking for a way around this lapper. It's either Kirkman. There it is right there. Trying to oh. oh, he was able to get by. That was set up nice. Now you, this is when the tension's really on. You work so hard to get by him, and you really got to put together a couple corners to keep the gap. Yes. 
Bourdon just turned in his quick lap last time by a 43-2. Only quicker driver thus far was Carlos with a 42-7 early on. 44 flat for Joey that time, but a commanding lead, 8.3 seconds. I'm sure his mechanic is telling him, you got this. Daniel second, trying to do another bump here. Parente has a bit of a cushion, but Fenster and Blair. Now Fenster to the three spot. Blair dropping down one. So the battle here for the three spot, the transfer spot, 2.15 to go. Looks like that's them just off the bottom, maybe up on the top here. Fenster and Blair, Blair and Fenster. Big Looks air. like that's Blair in the all-white. I want to say Fenster's in the red, white, and blue. They are back to nose to tail. Is that Robinson right on the back? Yes, it is. Oh, oh big bobble down. there. Luckily for Blair, collected him. Take a look back here. We pick back up with our race leader. That's Blair now into the third spot. Robinson to fourth. Spinrad up to fifth. Fenster down to sixth. One minute, 20 seconds left to go. And this one coming down to the wire. These guys want a shot at the A main. All they got to do is make it into the B. Bardone, Parente, and Blair. Looks like Parente has some breathing room over Blair and Robinson. Robinson and Blair, though, fighting over this third and final transfer position. Runs a little wide there. Hooks up a pipe. Inside. These guys having a heck of a battle here. Austin, Jermaine, and Walker, 45 seconds to go. Into the six-pack they go. They're going to have another lap to go after this. So that's Blair in the all-white. Robinson bought a jump and a half behind him. Looks like maybe a bit more than a corner. 30 seconds left to go. Blair is going to have to keep it together. Gets a little cattywampus there. Every section is risky. You go too fast, you go too slow. The car's not going to be happy about it. These guys go through the switchback. Hesses bounce it off the pipe. A little bit sideways he goes. Stretching for that back double. Robinson closing the gap now. They're going to make it by for one more lap. They are going to go. Here we go. We follow him here. There's Blair. There's Robinson right there. The white car, yellow on yellow. Lap traffic going to be a Blair with a little bit of a loop out there. Able to save it without doing the donut. But that's going to put Robinson all over the back wing. And traffic in front of them, they give way. Where is Robinson going to try it? Here we go. This is a tough section into the pit. Robinson getting a wide line, going to get a run, trying to go to the inside, reaching for the top. Oh, traffic in front the of them. Lap traffic giving him plenty of room there. That's what Robinson wants to see. Robinson still right there at the Oof. inside line, a little short there. It's going to come down to the final corner. Is Blair going to be able to hang on? And he is going to do it. A good fight to the finish there. It's Bourdon, Parente, and Blair. Robinson with a very good push at the end of that one. Started second on the grid. Fell victim to that early race pileup and fought his way back diligently throughout the run. I think I saw him as low as 10th at one stage. So great run there, but coming up just a little short. Tough luck there for two of the favorites, Adam Drake and Cole Ogden. Ogden with a commanding lead. Something going wrong. Unfortunate there for him. That is going to do it for our C-Main in Pro Nitro Truck. Up next will be another race. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I thought As I we're waiting for be. the screen to change. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> oh, that's right. They're taking the break, and they're going to do, like, A-Main warm-ups or something. They said an hour. I think an hour. Yeah, they said an hour. Well, let's find out.
We're getting a bit of an update on the schedule. Uh, we think that there may be an A-Main practice warm-up. They're going to let them go out there and find out where all the holes are six hours before they're up. Hey, I apologize for disturbing you. How long is this practice? I can hear Jensen breathing. It's pretty cool. So it sounds like there's uh, all of the A mains are going to get some track time. How much exactly? I'm not exactly sure. So each session is seven minutes. So oh, each okay. class is going to get a practice. Should be a little bit over an hour. Yeah, they got um, 17, thinking cla we are 17 classes at 17 <laughs> minutes each. Is <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, so uh, we're be well, we may or may not be talking about practice. Yes, I, I think they have to restart the stream and make sure the internet's not overheated. Yeah, so we uh, we'll find out here exactly what's going on here. Yeah. Don't worry, there is more information coming soon. All right, everybody, we're just getting a 411 from uh, Race Control, exactly what's going on. So there's going to be about an hour of practice here. Um, all the classes um, going to get seven minutes. So uh, we got some some work we're to do. We got to restart the streams and stuff like that. So we're going to go dark here for probably oh ten fifteen minutes or something like that. Um, do some do some logistics here behind, and then we'll we'll we w easy for me to say we will be back here for the uh, second half of practice. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the rest of the practice here it's going to take a little over an hour, and Jimmy told me about an hour and ten hour and fifteen minutes for practice. So, again, we're going to go dark, do some uh, uh, set the restreams and stuff like that, and we'll be back in just a few minutes, and we will continue pretty much the second half of the day here from uh, the Dirt Nitro Challenge Year 25 at Paris, California on LiveRC.com, courtesy of the Bonus Lab Mentorship and One Up Racing. So we'll be back here in just a few minutes. Stick around, hang out, come back. In a little bit, and we'll see you on the flip side here on LiveRC.com. Bye.